Just trying to solve this. Can you can you hear me? All right. I think we should be good now. Um, we're gonna have a serious discussion. We're gonna have a serious discussion today, people. And I think this is where I'm gonna wrap up on this whole reggae girls situation we're gonna end the whole reggae girls this is where i'm gonna end my take i'm gonna give you my take and I, I, I have some breaking news as well surrounding the reggae girls and surrounding the team and it's 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 not good a lot of fans are gonna be quite disappointed for everyone with high expectation i would tell you to just lower your expectation a bit when it comes on to the team going forward. After I make my points clear, you can feel free to call in and let me know. Shout out to all the people over there on Facebook who is just tuning in as well. I see you. I see that you're over there. Now, let's rewind a little bit. So it's been going on now like a month. It's been a month where the story broke, right? Um, there was a letter that surfaced that the JFF owed the girls money. And there was going to be some kind of strike, right? It's going to be a strike where um, the girls are not going to play in the Kankakov game until they get paid. Um, nobody has really came out or, and, and, and put their name on that letter. And today, I'm hearing who wrote the letter. And people, I understand we're going to always blame the JFF. And I spoke to one of the reggae girls today. So I, 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 want, <laughs> I want the fans to know not all the reggae girls was, not all of them were up for this to strike on the, on, on, on the JFF. I'm going to be, this might be shocking to a lot of you guys. What I'm hearing today from one of the reggae girls is that not all of them wanted not to come and play even though they were owed money. Apparently, this decision was made for them by some of the leaders in the team. All right? This decision was made for some of the girls by the leaders in the team. There is another person in the shadows who has a huge influence on the reggae girls team that a lot of you guys don't know about. You never hear that name. But you guys should start making some phone calls. And you're going to be very disappointed. You're going to be very disappointed what's really taking place. You're going to be very disappointed at what's taking place. And this is why I didn't run out and said, I do think the JFF, big up yourself, um, Tuffy Rudy. JFF said that. They said up to eight to nine girls. Yeah, we're going to get to that, Tuffy Rudy. But it's deeper than that, Tuffy Rudy. It's deeper than that. It's deeper than that. I'm going to... I, I don't want to spill it out just like that. But guys, it's, it's, it's not good. And it's not just the JFF. I blame the JFF for not handling it very well but there are powers at b that 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 want certain things to go forward no there's a specific head coach that the girls want the problem with the head coach that they want 
he's going through a situation. It's also stated that the dad of that head coach, Estek, I'm not talking about the, that nine, nine players. I know what I'm talking about, bro. As I said, I spoke to someone who in the team, in the team. Because you see, this, this, you know what? This was a revolutionary moment for me because I never spoke to anybody in the JFF or players or anybody before until this situation. Because I said, I need to find out myself. I needed to find out myself. And no, I understand how things work. When you start calling people, then people start calling you. <laughs> when you start calling people, people start calling you. I think that's how it worked. I didn't know that. I was sitting here all along like, yo, but not talk to nobody but afford no people. It's not that hard. No. The coach that the girls want, apparently the coach's dad is on the board of the foundation, the Bob Marley Foundation, quote unquote. Allegedly, allegedly, it said that the coach was part of the organizing of the tour to England that didn't go so well. But still, the JFF got all the blame for things not going smoothly. A lot of people don't even have any idea how that whole planning took place. This is what I'm saying, guys. I know that we, we know that the JFF messes things up. But I've been saying this on YouTube. We have to balance the discussion. We have to keep it balanced, people. If it's the JFF, forget it. At the JFF, forget it. If it's the girls, forget it. At, we have to keep it balanced. Ask yourself. People always say that um, how much money the JFF receives for um, how much money the JFF receives for the girls and all of that. I, I would like to know. I, I don't know. I want to ask. I was thinking today. I would ask um, Sidella, um, how much funding has her organization received? It's just a question. As donation for the reggae girls. And how much was spent? Because the JFF has no idea of Anything takes place on the Della side as far as the books are concerned. Have you ever asked yourself that, guys? Have you ever asked yourself how much money gets donated outside and how much is spent by the ambassador's organization and how much the JFF spends? Have you ever... It's just a wild thought. Because based on what I'm hearing... The JFF has no clue or no idea of how much money is received on behalf of the JFF. The JFF, just mark down what I'm saying right now. The JFF has no clue on how much the ambassador receives or her organization. They don't know how that side of the money works. Everybody knows, seems to always know how much money the JFF has to pay out. I haven't heard anybody stated how much the donations are. Can somebody give me a rough number? All the people, all the experts with the numbers and can calculate how much the JFF owes. How much does the organization's that are helping with the girls receive because the JFF do doesn't have access to those numbers based on what I'm hearing and based on what I've confirmed today. They have no clue of how much was received. So this is why, guys, we have to, as I said, for me, is Jamaica first. 
every single one of them, including the JFF, including Sedella, and including the girls that stripe, they all could go as long as we have a team out there representing Jamaica and they want to play for Jamaica. That's what I want to see. I don't care about on a Dolly House business and alliances and what people want to have going on and the power struggle. I have a problem with the girls wanting to pick the head coach. And they know what I'm talking about. They want to pick the head coach. They have a specific name. I'm not going to call the individual name who they want to be the head coach. He cannot be the head coach. And let me break it to the, the ladies. He's not going to be the head coach. He's not going to be the head coach. And in the next window, for all you guys, everybody who is excited that the whole first team is coming back, the first team is not coming back. So start, start living with that. There will be five more girls will be added to the team who are quality players. They will be coming back for the next window. So people can get used to it. People need to start getting used to what the situation. No, I hear people are saying, when all the first team girl, listen, a couple of them might come back, but a good 60 to 70% of that team is not coming back. A good 60 to 70% of that team is not coming back. A lot of those girls has played their last game for Jamaica. And if that doesn't happen, I want to come prove me wrong. I want to see the whole of them come back. And you say, JT, you said they, a lot of them weren't coming back. I bet you. I'm telling you. A lot of them, they're not a lot of them not coming back. Get used to that. There's going to be a shake-up, guys, on the structure. And you see, after this election, a lot of heads are going to fall. Uh, a lot of heads are going to roll as well after this election. A lot of people want to bash the girls that are playing right now. I have so much respect for you young ladies, last night I watched the game and you guys looked like a team. Even though some might say that, Tuffy Rudy, you can call in. The WhatsApp number is there if you want to call in on the show. And I want you to prove me wrong. I want to know. We're gonna see who we're gonna see where you're getting your information and where I'm getting my information. I want to see if 75% of those girls are coming back. That's not happening, my friend. That's not happening because a lot of people in the JFF they already agreed on this. The girls last night, I had no problem if they lost that game because they left it all on the field for Jamaica. Money or no money, first class ticket or five star hotel, those girls left it on the for Jamaica last night. And that's what we want. A lot of you guys would be shocked to see know how much money the, the JFF actually owed the males, the male side, the male team. They owe them a lot of money. But the guys, for some reason, said, you know what? We're gonna keep playing. And the JFF, you, you know you're gonna have to do the right thing. 
you know you're going to have to do the right thing. Also, a couple more college players are coming in who didn't get to make the last window. And I want to congratulate the coach as a local coach. He knows um, Xavier Gilbert. I'm not very big on local coaches as I, as I think that they're, they're very static in their way of coaching. They're not very dynamic in making changes, evolving with the game. They're very reactive very slow on getting the ball rolling. But I think Xavier Gilbert has done an amazing job with what he has. People, hit the like button on the video, please. Please hit the like button on the video. Let's get the visibility out there on the video. Please hit the like button. And I'm going to take some comments. But yes, based on what the coach had, they had a few days before the first game. They didn't get really, they didn't get beaten really badly by Panama. The girls went out there and fought. We see where the problems are with the goalkeeper, suspect, center back, suspect, striker. She's just not pulling the trigger fast enough, holding on to the football. But I respect them. I saw a team out there last night. I saw girls picking up each other, even when they made mistakes. I saw girls, and that's what we want for Jamaica. That's what we want for Jamaica. So everybody can come out and say, you know, the money wasn't paid. Well, the money is paid now, right? Still don't think the JFF handled that correctly. The money is paid now. The JFF got their bashing. But I also said on one of my streams, Jamaican people are very fickle. They're with you today. And tomorrow they are against you. And I promise you, if this team doesn't qualify for the Gold Cup, you're going to see a lot of fans start shifting. A lot of fans are going to start to say, maybe the girl them should have did qualify the team and hold out, say we're not going to the Gold Cup if we don't get all of our money. But if the team doesn't go to the Gold Cup, a lot of fans are going to say, yo, them girls, they sell out Jamaica. I don't play for Jamaica. So I can't really say that the girls shouldn't have strike at that moment. But for me, it seems like it was purely driven by money. It, it, to me, the guys are playing. Some would say, well, the guys are not this, due for a big bonus from the World Cup. The girls did qualify. They did represent Jamaica. But also in the World Cup, as I said, I didn't like how Kadisha Shaw came out in a moment where they should be celebrating their accomplishment and start talking about JFF not supporting. The World Cup wasn't the place for that. It was all about you guys. It's, it was, it's your moment. You guys put in the hard work and you got there. And you're going to start seeing, you see, sometimes when people are down, they, they, they convert up a certain spirit of support. And the, the girls that went out there last night, they, they, they earned a lot of respect for playing for Jamaica. With all the situation, a lot of us know that the JFF doesn't have a lot of money. And I'm also disappointed in the JFF because I had a young lady on a past player, and she said they were paying her $5 a day. 
So that tells me that a lot of money was stolen. It, it was that what, 2006, around that time, a lot of money was stolen because there's no way, I can't remember any time in football history where FIFA was paying players $5 a day to play. So JFF, Una kind of lucky. So the statue of limitation kind of run out on that situation because somebody stole a lot of money. Somebody stole some money where players were getting $5 a, a day to represent Jamaica. Mr. Raymond Anderson, you're running for election. You, you, you were around. You're, you've been there for almost 30 years. So you were there when monies were being stolen at that time. You were there. What happened to those money? Why, was, why were those girls getting paid $5 a day? You, you would have to answer those questions. Mr. Ricketts, you were, uh, as the young lady said, you weren't the president at that time. But going forward, I think you will win the election because I just don't think Mr. Anderson has made, uh, he hasn't really showed me that he, he, he can cover up the support he needs to get over the line. So I think Mr. Ricketts will get another term. And I hope Mr. Ricketts and everyone in the JFF, I hope you learn from your mistakes. As I said to the individual today, when we don't hear the JFF name on YouTube, it means you are doing something right. And that should be your goal going forward us not having to discuss your mishaps on YouTube. And this is what I'm saying. I'm keeping it balanced. I spoke about the girls, and I'm speaking about the JFF right now. You guys have made a mess of things. As I said, this is my last video on this. You guys have made a mess of things. Mr. Dennis Chung, when you came in, I had an interview with you on Ryan channel. We spoke. You articulated yourself very well. You, you said that you're here to provide more transparency, to do things differently. I'm going to give you another chance. But if these things keep popping up, I will have to be your worst nightmare. Ryan is already your worst nightmare, but I will have to be another bad dream. Because we cannot continue like this. We cannot continue like this. You cannot, we can't have a situation where the JFF has to have somebody on 60 different programs to explain one situation. You guys have to get better. And I'm sure the jobs that you guys are allocated to do, it's not rocket science. It's not rocket science. You don't need a master's in physics or chemistry to do the job that you guys are doing. The, all, we all the job requires is doing your job. That's all the job requires. Do your job get the right people in the right position. And Mr. Ricketts, I don't know the alliances that you're going to form to win this election. But please make sure you're forming alliance with people who are there to put Jamaica first. I know you want to win the election, but how do you want your legacy to be? Do you want your legacy to be 
a president who who never gets it right, you should be thinking about legacy now. Because in a way, the reggae girls go into two World Cups. That achievement is more, uh, is kind of allocated to Sidella Mali. Everybody knows the job that she has done. She has re rejuvenated the program. She has gotten people to, 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 to basically um, get on board and support the team again. So I'm saying to the JFF, going forward, please get people in the right positions who can do the job. JFF, stay off YouTube. When you're on YouTube, that means you're not doing your job because you're here putting out fires. And to the young ladies who are, who strike and quote unquote suspended at the same time, we appreciate you and we appreciate the ones who has played their last game for Jamaica. As I said, a lot of them has played their last game for Jamaica and they won't be back. I'm looking forward to the young ladies who will be joining the team to bolster the team. And Xavier Gilbert will be the coach for the next window. The new head coach won't be named so swiftly. So for everybody who's saying the new head coach is coming in November and the, the, the first team will be back, that's not happening. Let me just take some comments here. And I think I could maybe drop the link. Well, no, the WhatsApp is already pinned in the group. But let me just read some um, comments here. As Technic says, I never blame the JFF. Okay, never said you blame the JFF. So it's confirmed the ringleaders flexing their muscles. Yeah, that's it's confirmed, as technique, that there are people in the team who are making decisions for a lot of the other girls who are who basically have to sign up for whatever is pitched to them because they can't come off as sellouts to their teammates. That's also what's happening now. If there were certain girls who wanted to play for Jamaica still and they came and played for Jamaica while some of the girls striked, they would have been looked at as sellouts by their teammates. I think as a player, some of these players have to start looking at their own careers. If you have somebody at Manchester United playing and you're playing at some little Bush club, and you get a chance to play for Jamaica, and somebody call you from Manchester United or from Chelsea and say, yo, we're not going to play for Jamaica, you shouldn't go. You, you maybe need to start thinking about your own career. They're playing at the highest level. Where are you playing? What about your goals? So players should start thinking about that. The sheep mentality it doesn't really work out for everybody sometimes. There's somebody's going to lose. And no, some of you has basically lost. Some of you won't be playing for Jamaica again. So there we go. You have to look at it um, from that perspective. I wouldn't be surprised if the guys running for president is involved. <laughs> Won't call any name. Mr. Chung said the other day that the Marley Foundation and the Reggae Girls Foundation were not the biggest donors after Adidas. Exactly. Um, but if they're not the biggest don um, donors, where, what happened to their donations, Tuffy Rudy? Tuffy, can you um, tell me how much did the, the other foundations got to support Jamaica? I never heard anybody on YouTube. Um, everybody seems to know how much the JFF get. But they don't know how much anybody else get to support um, 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 the reggae girls. 
everybody seems to know what in the JFF wallet, but they don't know about any other monies. We have to keep it balanced, people. We don't care who it is. I don't care who you are. I don't know a lot of these people. Jamaica, we are talking about Jamaica. And we're talking about having people out there who wants to inspire young ladies in Jamaica. We're quote unquote third world. Where there's not a lot of opportunities for young ladies. Sport is seen as a way out in Jamaica. Track and field, football, cricket. If some people want to put money before that, I, I, I can't make that decision for you. But you have to live with the consequence of not getting a call back in the team. Yeah, man, Owen, Owen, five new girls will be a part of the, the next window for sure. Big up yourself, Sashana. JT, the JFF should have realized long ago that Jamaicans don't make good slaves <laughs> five from the old squad no not these are five brand new players five brand new players will be making their debut for jamaica five new players as i said there will be maybe some players coming back from the old team but it's not going to be a mass exodus of just the old team coming back to play for jamaica that's not going to happen. Anybody, I hear people saying, yeah, so when the first team come back, we're going to beat Guatemala and beat Panama. And who told you that? Anyone who makes my country looks bad can go to hell as far as I'm concerned, says S Technic. I'm, I'm with you on that. I'm with you on that. The first team ladies must be back. Well, Zabad, bring them back. You think they should be back? Bring them back. There will not be five. There will be three places. Make note of this. Tuffy Rudy, it looks like you have some other information. They told you that there's, I guess they told you that there will be three, but I'm telling you what I've been told by people who are a part of getting the players to play for Jamaica. So if you have some other People telling you there will be three, then I can't go back and forth with you on that, my brother. Bless up yourself, same way. Um, like I said, who don't come? Yeah, I care zero says um Sashana said we need Spencer, Drew, Swabies. No, oh, let's see. Um, so who's gonna miss them? <laughs> <laughs> So, so we now miss them. You, you see that already. Even real baller has moved on. Guys, I have moved on. To, I'm going to be brutally honest with you guys. I have moved on from the, the players that strike on Jamaica. I've moved on. If they don't come back to play for Jamaica, I won't lose sleep. You got your money. You put up a fight. The, the JFF is terrible in a lot of ways. We know that. And you got your money. And we move on. The JFF has to restructure themselves and make things clear for the new girls coming in how things, things are going to work. You can't continue like this. I'm saying this to the JFF. You cannot continue like this. Make it clear to the new girls that coming in that sometimes we're going to be late on payments based on how, where we are financially. That's transparency. And if they who don't want to buy into that, you cut your losses and move on. But it's when you make deals with people and tell them, I'm going to give you 60 million, 70 million, just forward. That's where the problem comes in, JFF. So do the right thing. Um, JT, I will come prove you wrong. More than 75% will I'll be, I'll be excited for you to come and prove me wrong. Tuffy Rudy, please come and and prove me wrong. All right? Please come and prove me wrong when 75% of these girls are back. We'll see about that. So there it is, people. You remember this comment. Let me keep this comment up for a second. Tuffy Rudy says 75% of the girls will be back. And he's going to prove me wrong. So we can take a screenshot of that. 
We'll see about that. If only it was the same for the JFF mem for the members of the JFF. Owen Owen said, based on certain interviews they made during the World Cup, I know who will not be back. <laughs> I think Owen Owen, you're a smart guy. <laughs> I respect them too, JT. We can lose with dignity. And that's what I if if the girls lost that game last night, I I had no problem. Because I know the goalkeeper was weak, but I saw a team out there last night who just came together. A, a team that just got put together in a short span. And they looked like they wanted it. They looked like they were there to represent Jamaica. And I have so much respect for them. And both games, in both games, they, they didn't even deserve to lose. I think it's just lack of them not playing together, training together, and, and not figuring it out as yet. They still perform very well based on the circumstance. All right. No, not I will prove you wrong in November, Winda. I'll call you then. Yeah, man, please do that. <laughs> JT, I already figured that out, that most aren't coming back. Reggae girls did the right thing not to play. All right. We're not saying it's the wrong thing. I'm just saying that with every action, there is a reaction. The U20 keeper in the senior team, I would take her back. I would take her back as well. And I think she was a player who should have came. She missed the opportunity. Because she's still a part of the U20s. She missed the opportunity. I think the goalkeeper... For, um. The U20 goalkeeper should have came in this window and started and take her opportunity. That's why I'm saying players have to think about their own careers at some point. All right. Let's see. She is our number one goalkeeper, but she's not back. So, yeah. It's going to be tough. It's going to be tough. Let me see if I get this person on the call here. If Anderson wins, we will be seeing. Okay, let me see if this person picks up. I think oh, it probably at work. If Anderson wins, I think we will be seeing an all harbor view. 23 male Jamaican squad. God knows where the girls will be picked from. I don't think that he's not. I don't think Mr. Anderson is going to win, bro. He's not going to win. He, he doesn't have the pulling power to win this. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Um, if you look at it, um, I think a lot of people, I hear people are counting up the votes. Um, Mr. Ricketts is saying he has 18 votes. I want people to remember that. I think Rudolph Speed has five votes. So if he has 18 votes and Rudolph Speed has five by himself, that's what, 23? Six more votes. I think it's an uphill, a, a uphill task for um, Raymond Anderson to win this. Um, based on my calculation, based on how I calculated. Yes, I agree. Let's try to put more girls yeah and let's let's widen the window the the, the 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 pool i mean let's widen the pool of players i don't think swaby sisters will be back either a, uh a king with the uk girls um and the girls are not really complaining yeah the new girls are not they, they just want to play i can tell they just want to play we gave away the panama game yeah we should have got a result in that game I, I do agree. So the first team been playing without money. It's not just money. It's the problem. The girls stranded for something. Okay. All right. I don't know, Tycoon. I can't I can't um, answer that one. JT, big up. The girls not fighting for the girls. They are fighting for both. Okay. All right. You think so? So why the man why why aren't the men fighting for their money that's been owed? They're, the men are still not paid right now. Good luck to Jamaica. Jamaica, it's 
only place on earth that when you speak up against your employer, you can be retaliated on if that was here in the States, bro. One of the biggest lawsuits. Well, lawsuits don't really work like that in the JFF, my friend. You can't use... People don't understand. This is one of the things that got Nigeria banned is when the Nigerian government decided to step in. The outside courts, it doesn't really work like that. You don't just sue the JFF or stay outside and sue inside the JFF. It doesn't work like that, guys. It doesn't work like that. JFF, sell out Jamaica. True, but the team is led by Bunny, not the brightest Bob <laughs> who picks an impulsive behavior as the first and only option. Yeah. Yeah, she's um Shaw's body language have been off long time. Yeah, her body language when she don't when the ball don't work out, she go like this, and it's just like this. It's just like this. It's just like that has an effect on players. I remember even Bruno Fernandez was doing that a lot when Cristiano Ronaldo was there. And you saw what happened to Manchester United. Body language plays a huge role in the motivation of your team. Every time something to work out or, or Khadija don't get the ball, it's like, it's like, it's like, come on, bro. Like, yeah, we get it. So last night I saw girls making mistake, mistakes and there were other girls running over to pick them up and say, come on, let's go. We can do it. Like, that's, that's how you want your team to be. Like, people are going to make mistakes on the field, especially a team that hasn't played together. And Jamaica could have won that game. Jamaica had so many opportunities to win that game, so many chances. Jamaica could have won that game last night. S-Technica beat them bad. S-Technica said, Bonisha, for me, can stay. Yeah, I'm telling you, guys, as you can see by the comments that the sentiment is going to change when, when it comes on to the players that strike. Fans are going to start turning. I promise you. Listen, they say in history, the old becomes the new. It's just a cycle. Things doesn't really change that much. They say there's nothing new under the sun. I've seen this movie already. Fans are going to start turning. And especially of these girls that are there now are fighting and maybe just barely missed the Gold Cup. Fans are going to start saying, you know what? These girls came and they played. They didn't really abandon us. I'm telling you, people have a soft spot in their hearts for people who still show up in certain situations and put up a fight. I'm telling you. The JFF in the office just getting rich and fat off the labor of their backs. Okay. Five dollars. Yeah, Patrick Riley. There was a young lady that we interviewed, Kimia um Kimia Parker. And she said, um, yeah, they were getting five dollars a day. So I'm saying that somebody was stealing. Somebody was stealing. Tuffy Rudy said, JT, you made some good points, but the girls didn't strike because of one incident. It's ongoing for years. But I'm asking Tuffy Rudy, how much year back paid were the girls owed? Was it years of money? How much money did the JFF owe them? Right? Wasn't the, the I understand their problem. Tuffy, we're we, we not supposed to discuss the problems with the JFF anymore. We know them. We know the problems. We talk about it now for almost two years. We know the problem. That's why in the show, I, I, I outline what the JFF needs to do to get things right. And at the end of the day, we, we, we will have to live with some of this crap from the JFF. Because as I said, the way the JFF structure is set up, it's insulated. You can't just come in from the outside and just drag them out. It doesn't work like that. So some, they're going to be there. And no team can compete on the international stage without being under a FA or a football organization. FIFA doesn't work like that, else academies could just represent a country. It doesn't work like that. So the JFF is going to be there. 
The JFF is going to be there. So, so people, listen, we have to remove how we feel and look at the reality. The reality is the JFF will be there. After me and your pass and gone, it's going to be there. Even after some of these girls move on in their career, retire, the JFF, it's going to be there. So when I hear people say, you're not going to get rid of all of them. It's just not possible right now. So what do we do? All right, JFF don't have money. Why so many of they have to travel overseas to watch the game? I don't know, Mark Chambers. I don't know. I, I That I don't know. And if somebody from the JFF comes on, I will try to ask them why so much of them travel overseas. But I don't know why so much of them. Maybe that's how they make their money. I don't even know how much per diem they receive, how that payout. I always say I only talk about what I know are my opinions or my predictions. What I don't know, as I said, I never seen the book books from the jff i never seen a book the books from the the the, the um the bob marley organization or the the, the 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 reggae girls fan club or anybody who receives contributions to the reggae girls i've never seen that nobody knows how much money do they we don't know so what i'm trying to say is let's ask all the questions it's similar to what's happening with the whole thing with Israel and Palestine, as soon as if somebody comes out and said what the Hamas did was wrong, but also said what's going on right now, the bombing, it's also wrong, those people get bashed. But we should ask all the questions. If we're going to talk about being fair, let's ask all the questions from the JFF to the players to the organizations involved. Let's ask everybody the questions. Because at the end of the day, we just want Jamaica to have a good team out there. That's all we care about. How long ago was that? Uh, I think she said that was 2006, around that time. All of them need to go, says Owen Owen. Owen Owen has already made up his mind, I see. <laughs> uh, Real Ball said, you have a lot of clones posting here, supporting these women, try to, st to say we should be um, I think he's saying who should be the coach. Yeah, they, 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 the, the young ladies have chosen who they want to coach the team. And I don't know in any country, I don't know in any country where the, the player, where the players pick the team. I don't know in any footballing nation where the country, where the players pick the team. Okay. I think I'm getting a call. Good afternoon, Carla. Even JT, Issa. Issa. All right. Best of best of Issa. All right. Can go ahead. I, I, you still have you things know, to man. talk about. Go ahead, man. Go ahead. All right. So the first thing, last thing I heard you were speaking about was, um, you know, the coach, the, the, the players selecting the coach mm. or picking the coach. Yeah. I mean, can we really say the girls pick the coach, JT? No, right now, they, they are requesting a specific indi individual that I spoke about. And the problem with All that right. is the individual is going to some kind of legal battle. But it's also so, and, and, stated that... The, and, that's, yeah? and that's facts, that the girls requested that person. Yes, and it's also said that the, 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 the dad of the coach that they're requesting is a part of the organization that is run allegedly run by Sidella. Okay. And the next thing is during the, the Vinblian um situation, would you say that the girls picked the coach at that time as well? I I I I, I was the only one I think on YouTube who made a video and said listen based on where the situation was at that point Vin Blaine had to go but no, the JFF is giving up a huge chunk of power to the girls there because they just got pressured into firing a coach. Even though the JFF didn't fire Vin Blaine, Vin Blaine decided yes. to step down, which was the right thing to do. But I think mm -hmm. that was a dangerous, 
I think that's where the power struggle really kicked in and the girls realized that we could actually write some letters and get rid of who we want and get who we want in there. That's just my point of view. Okay. Because, I mean, a lot of people are saying the girls pick the previous coach and they want to pick um, they want to pick this one. But every any coach that, and I'm going to use the words that, you know, the technical committee director, it says that they recommend to the board they recommend mm -hmm. probably three persons at that particular time. And the board, namely the president, selected Lauren Donaldson at that point. You understand? It was that Lauren Donaldson was recommended, mm -hmm. but he was down the pecking order. Right? Mm -hmm. So, I mean, we, we can't use the rhetoric that the girls picked the coach. I, I, I didn't say they, they picked the last coach, you know. I, I agree with you. I don't know who picked the last coach. That I have no information on the picking of the last coach may I be brutally the, honest mr speed mr speed spoke at length you know he said that londonson they recommended three persons londonson was um they recommended him one two three and londonson was third on that list okay. and it went to the board and the board made the final decision and okay. i'm assuming that this coach that is coming it's going to be the same procedure whether they, the girls have a person who they would like to to be their coach it's going to go before the board, and the board is going to decide. So I cannot, you know, agree so, with the rhetoric. But, but the, Issa, the, 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 the board has, has already decided not to hire the person that the girls want to coach them. Good, and that's fine. Let's see where it goes from there now. I mean, yeah. I haven't heard anything publicly from the girls um, um, recently. About, who's the, you know, Issa, who is the, like, the spokesman or the spokeswoman for the girls? Like, I never, I only see letters. I never. Letters, for real. <laughs> but, but, but the thing is, the thing is, this, you know, um, mm -hmm. um, um, JT, I mean, I think that's the, 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 the better way, I wouldn't say the best way at this point. That's, that, that's a better way to deal with it because you don't want one person, you know, Mm -hmm. namely a player going out and speaking and you know the, the the jff does not like when you know anybody in the organization goes out and speak ill of the organization so yeah. i mean if it comes from a group of persons if it comes from a group of persons then you know they can say okay um it, it came from a group of persons not namely one person speaking and they can deal with, deal with it in in that way instead of you know one player going to represent and and be in the face of of um of all the persons and speaking publicly, I don't think the JFF would want that. You would, understand? But would, I mean, would you bring back all the girls that um know that they're being paid the money? Would you bring them all back and remove all these girls that has showed up for Jamaica and played during this kind of rocky time in Jamaica and female football? What I will say is this, that um, if everything is sorted out, I mean, there isn't a reason not to select them if everything is sorted out. I mean, you, you don't want to, to make it seem as if players are blacklisted because they were having issues with the federation. And then selecting of players is down to the coach. If the federation make the girls, um, what would you call it, lift whatever suspension or, or, or whatever they call it, the, the, the suspension of the selection, if that is lifted, and things are sorted out. It is down to the coach um, to pick his players. If if he if he doesn't want to include some of the girls, then fine. And uh, um, there was a a commenter, you know, saying that Bonnie Shaw can stay. But I I I don't like that comment. I mean, football is football. Players react. But Issa, Issa, you remember what I said? Go ahead. I, you remember what I said, Issa? That yes, fans are gonna start to sh to shift. On this, I'm telling you, Jamaican people, I've, I, I'm, I'm one of them. Fans are going to start to shift on this, especially if this team doesn't qualify. People are going to start to say, maybe the girls didn't go about it correctly. They should have maybe qualified the team and then hold out not to go to the Gold Cup if they're not being paid up or something like that. Yeah. And I, I think, though, you know, I think that split 50 50. I even, probably not even 50-50, but there are a lot of persons who are fed up with the running of the administration. Mm -hmm. And they don't care what, what the players do because they are already they, they, they already have a position that the JFF 
um, is not being run right in their eyes and a large, a large section of the Dominican public are already fed up with the JFF. The girls don't even have to do anything. They, they're just fed up with the JFF. You understand what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. it will take a lot of convincing for them to, to actually say, okay, you know, these girls that came, came in a rocky time and, and, and stuck with the team and, and played for us. So I think that the jury's still out on that, whether the fans will turn on the girls or... <laughs> trust me, the way the JFF is run, they don't, they don't need to do anything much for people to get upset at them. What, and, what, and what would you true. do? What, how would you handle this? To be honest, um, <laughs> the girls already did what they did, hmm. right? And we are looking for some type of amicable agreement to move forward. Mm -hmm. If that is the case, you, 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 an election is coming up. Everybody wants to, you know, go on a clean slate. If the leadership changes, I'm sure all the girls will be back. If it stays the same, I don't know if all of them will come back. But in my eyes, it should be a clean slate from now on, I think. You know, put a lot of the issues that they have, resolve them now, resolve them now. So that's going forward. If anything like this comes up again, we don't have to resort to players um not turning up for games to do. But but Issa, so, you also know that there's a procedure when the JFF doesn't pay out um that the girls needed to follow as far as no there's no, no I don't. Okay. You don't so, know no, of so it I don't one know. or yeah. So you have to enlighten me now. So let me know yeah, more I know I, about that. I think it goes to arbitration or something like that after the um if there's a disagreement or a third party is brought in or something around that line and they can't come up to uh come up with a solution and none of those steps were taken it was just basically players say we're not coming and we owed money okay because i hear mr chung mentioning it he used a word you you, you don't remember the word i don't remember it right now but mm. what he said that there is a what did he say it's like there, there are steps so the step the first step would be to to meet Mm -hmm. Um and um you know hear the grosses. If that doesn't work, then you go to arbitration. Then you in, involve um outside personnel or however it is done. But he's saying that they did not meet, they did not discuss, and so even now what they are saying, you know, they have to go through that process now before even going to arbitration mm -hmm. based on the contract. So that's what he's saying. And the next thing is you were asking um you was you were asking for how long. Um, has the player been owed? Right now, they were owed for probably about a year mm -hmm. for games for last year. Mr. Chung said that out of his mouth. Mm -hmm. And previously, we know that there are games here and there that they, they don't get per diem. It's always out there. So this the, the year that you, you heard of that they've been paid for, before that, they have been owed and they have, you know, continued to play. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, it's not just, okay, they're owed for over a year and that's it. Before that year, they were still owed. I don't know how long. They always talk about, you know, getting money for games and per diem, et cetera, et cetera. So it's not that they were all owed for a year. And, and that was the only time they were owed. Previously, before that, they were owed, you know. So it's, it's not like a one-year thing or a one-time thing. It's, it's something constant, JT. Yeah, and, 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 and Issa, if you saw the first part of the show, I split justice on it. You, you heard me speak on... What the JFF, the JFF has to restructure themselves. They have to come up with a, a formula of how they're going to handle situations when they are low on funds. But I also think that comes down to clarity. Like when you're going to make a deal with someone, you have to let them know. If it's like I borrow some money from you, Issa. Mm -hmm. If I can't pay you Friday, my now go say to you, Issa, lend me the money till Friday. Because you're gonna right. you're gonna hit me Friday. Because it's you have to give me a, at least two to three months. That's where I can I, I can pay up. And if you can right. agree with that, don't make the loan. So I think the JFF needs you have to blame the JFF there. In but the JFF also pointed out to the contract. There's parts in the contract that sounded a bit open-ended. Right. You literally Going into what I was going to ask you, I heard Mr. Speed on a program on YouTube and they asked him about, okay, when players are old, what is the time span 
um, you know, on which you are, you know, to, 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 to pay, pay, right? And he said, there isn't any time span. He said, all you have to do is be fair. I think that that is a big, big problem. That is too ambiguous. You understand? I don't know if the girl saw that in the contract, but that's what he said. He said, there isn't a time span. He said, all you have to do is try, to, they have to try to be fair. Yeah. JT, don't you think that there is something wrong with that in a contract that there is no I, time? I, I, I totally agree. I totally agree. But as I always say, you know, a contract, you have to look at the first three letters in a contract. It's a con. It's a con. Um, though it's set up to be an agreement between two parties, contracts are structured for somebody to lose. When the Chinese lend the money to Jamaica, you think China is just lending Jamaica money because they love the, the ocean and the, the white sand? <laughs> something nah, is they have in something it for. To get back. Yeah. So if you're reading a contract or whoever, whoever signed off, on the contract from the girl's side, shouldn't they be able to understand the language? Was it a lawyer or was this just an individual? Well, the Mr. Chung said that the girl's lawyer went over the contract as well. I mean, I cannot believe so many people go over the contract and, and one, they didn't see that, mm -hmm. that we just spoke about, and two, they didn't see that um, if the players qualified for the World Cup and made made it to the the, the next round, there wasn't any any fine kind of formula to 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 see how the girls would be paid out. You know, he talked yeah, about that yeah. on all as well. You know that he came in after the contract, but he said he looked at it. But I mean, lawyers look at it and nobody pick up that. You understand? So that's 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 a blunder on both parties. You know, yeah, looking yeah. at the contract. That that's something I would say that both both parties have to take ownership of. That's you know? true. And I have another question for you, Isa. But people, um, Pastor just joined the show. People, please hit the like button on the video. We only have 30 likes on the video, and we have 92 people watching the show, and we have 30 likes on the video. That means 60 per it's like 60 persons in here haven't hit the like button. So please hit the like button. Isa, somebody is saying, JT, I don't understand your show no more. You're losing it, bro. Where is the OG? You, you, you think I'm approaching this wrong, Issa, from asking questions from all sides? Um, JT, remember, it's um, your, the way you have to do your show is to be fair. And exactly. as a, a, a journalist or however you want to put it, you have to ask questions of both sides. You, you cannot come with a and, and, and you stated earlier that you only come, you speak the facts, or you will say your opinion when you have, um, you know, as much facts to have an opinion. Mm. So you, you, I mean, I can say whatever I want. The, commenta yeah. the commenters can say whatever they want. But they have to know that you have a responsibility on your show to speak facts or speak your opinions and as much facts as you have. It. So it, there's no wrong about how you're approaching it. I mean, some people will say because they've already made up their up mind. Day. Yes. So they will they will not want to hear anything good or positive. Even when you're not speaking good or positive, you're just asking questions. It's not like you're saying, okay, this is the truth or that is the truth. You're just asking questions. And people will have a problem with that. I mean, even I will have a problem with that because I have my own opinions that I will form. But I cannot expect it of you to come and, and speak and say things that you probably don't know of or you don't mm -mm. have as much facts about. So, I mean, nah, nothing is wrong with that. And we have to, as a people, we can't just go off the court of public opinion. Because what I've, I, I don't, for me, it's a, I don't like sheep mentality. I don't like yeah. where, because I saw this thing is going in one direction and nobody's asking any question. Pastor, say something through your mic. Let me see if I'm hearing you. Good afternoon. No, no, I'm not hearing Pastor. I don't know. What's Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Me. You're not hearing me. It's it's, it's my Pastor. You will. I, I think it's not allowing. I will have to solve this because ever since I got the mixer, and I ever since I got the mixer, and I'm talking to the mixer, and I'm getting a call. All right, say something, Pastor. Good afternoon. You hearing me yet? No, man, that's not going to change. That's not okay, going to okay. change. 
I think you hear me? Yet? I have to figure out the connection. Something isn't right. Something is right. But, I'm, I'm, but I'm, 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 yeah, I have to, uh, Pastor, you will have to call in or something because I, I, it's not allowing me to hear the guests. It's the mixer. It's something I have to figure out on the mixer. But as I said, I am. Um, this is facts. Five new players will be joining the team. Hear me now, JT. When they say new, what do you mean? JT, are you hearing me now? Not hearing you, Pastor. It's, it's my problem, Pastor. I have to. So, All right. Um, another time. The five players who haven't played for Jamaica before. Five, oh. Okay. Yeah. Five players who hasn't played for Jamaica before will be joining the team. Wow. Yeah. And, 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 and it's stated that these players are quality because they, listen, while the fans are out here saying we're waiting for the first team to come back, the JV trying to um, widen the pool of players they have right now because people oh. need to understand it on. Including me, including you probably, Jamaican men, we have a lot of ego. And if we feel like people cross we, we are going to put the foot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and people are forgetting that there are individuals in the JFF, they, they, they probably feel the same way. They think, all right, this is only one do it. No, we are going to wield our power. And I think it's going to come down to that. And I, I, and I believe that they will bring back the few good ones that they want, but a bulk of the team is not coming back. Well, I mean, on, on my end, honestly, I want the best players, as, as always, to be representing the country. <laughs> you know, uh, that's, that's my thing. Yeah. So if the, the five that you're speaking about can be considered better. I have no problem with that. But why weaken the team um, just to get quote unquote control or power? Yeah. You understand? At the end of the day, the team needs to be performing well to continue to get, you know, sponsorship, uh, continue to, you know, allow players to get contracts abroad, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. So all of those things need to, to continue happening. And 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 also when they rectified today, they okay. are able to get. I'll know, try to call it when you know. that allows the, the organization to make money, etc. And the, the um the chat is saying that they are hearing pasta, you know. They're hearing pasta. Yeah, them said I'm hearing loud and clear. Yeah. Okay, so they're oh, the, it's just me not hearing pasta. Yeah. Okay. The chat said I'm hearing loud, loud. <laughs> so, I, so I don't know how I'm gonna hear pasta. <laughs> Pastor, you'll just have to say your piece then without me chiming in. You can hear Pastor? Um... No. Okay, okay. So, Pastor, just... There's something on the mix. There's something yeah. on the mix how you have to touch. Yeah, something yeah. Something on the mix how you have to touch. Yeah, yeah. But just by the mixer, like, less than a week now. So, that's, that's a problem there where we're not going to be able to figure it out on the show. We are here, the man load. So, um, all right, Issa, we'll catch up next time, Pastor. All right, no problem, man. I'm uh, in the comments. Uh, just say your piece, um, Pastor. Let me mute my mic and listen to what Pastor is. Okay, I was. I I don't understand why a lot of people fail to see this the jff is operating within the definition of the first three letters of the word con when they're dealing with the contract because on one hand they're asking those persons they're dealing with to operate on a good faith basis and then when you operate on a good faith faith basis and accept those little ambiguous clause within a contract anything happens the jff then goes the route of using that to bro beat you and to say they have a upper hand on you because they gave you a contract so 
they are lying out of both sides of their mouth and the front of their mouth and they are lying every opportunity they can get this has become the actual characteristic of the jff whereby they not only operate as the sperm donor because absentee father is not defining them well enough and after the child would have struggled with the single mother and amounts to something he turns up and demands credit for the sperm that he donated not accounting for all the challenges that his donation of the sperm would have caused so that thing where the, the the lawyers for the girls may have overlooked the clause the ambiguity within the contract is not an is not a bad thing on the part of the lawyers because the jff is asking everybody to have good faith negotiations and operate within that spectrum the girls having learned that the jff says that but does not operate within the ambit of what they're saying took a stance jt while i believe there's some truth to what you're saying that fans will change their minds because of some things there's some truth to that this i will say more than 50 percent of the persons who are negatively critical of the girls actions are not female football fans more than 50 percent of them who are going on and jumping over hoops to protect the jff's image are not women football fans and i will say that without drawing a survey just looking at their response when you ask them any critical question as it relates to the team they don't know it because they have not been following fans of women football they're not following anything i will categorically state that so i'm not even paying much mind to some of the comments anymore because anybody with sense knows that no matter how stupid you are if you're being abused there comes a time when enough is enough and i believe that despite the negative implications of the girl's actions and i see those negative implications i simply stand with the girls because there has to be a time when the folly of the jff comes to an end and since they are the ones that are feeling the brunt of the pain, I support the decision uh, as to the how of what they do. You cannot say to your daughter, JT, or your child, if it's, if it's a male child, that they are to not tell lies. They are to show up to school. And you tell lies and skip work that don't make no sense you are the leader and for those people who continue to make statements about the girls choosing lauren as their coach the girls did not select a coach it was Sidala marley that was instrumental in getting um menzies and lauren and the, the other one in the first World Cup program, Road to World Cup 2019 program. The girls literally is not going to be satisfied with anybody from the old body club thrust on them, especially when they are playing at higher professional level than those coaches are able to attain to whether by choice or acumen i will stop there so you can do deal with the other tech the other persons in the chat and whatever thought you have running
other yeah. So if if you can hear me, Pastor, what I'm saying is, how do you see this going forward? Where the wound is, it's very deep, and there is a lot of hurt on both sides, as they say, hurt people, hurt people. Um, the JFF is gonna feel, even though, because you see, sometimes even when people are wrong, big of yourself, pagan, one eight eighty. Even you know, even when people are wrong, they can still feel like you've disrespected them. So, how do we fix this go for, going forward? Because I don't think this this relationship is ever gonna get back to a place where even the JFF is allowed to owe these girls again, and we know that the JFF will be owing people again going forward. <laughs> All right, JT, I believe the girls are professional enough and responsible enough to know that J JFF will owe them again. I don't believe that will be their problem. But they are not going to be satisfied unless the JFF become fiscally responsible. When you, you, you drew the analogy about taking a loan, the JFF must be mindful that you're dealing with human beings. They have feelings and they have responsibilities, financial responsibilities. And even if, and let's use Bonnie Shaw, who may be among the highest paid players in the female team. Maybe. I'm not sure as to the breakdown of everybody, club salary. But let's say Bonnie Shaw don't need the money. It is not the JFF place to not pay Bonisha the, the, the money that she's to get. The money should be given to Bonisha and Bonisha determine that she don't want the money. The JFF don't have that right of place. Your responsibility is that they, the per diems and whatever match fees that they're supposed to be get, getting is handed over to them. And then those players will have the decision to make whether they accept it or not accept it. And until they letter you to say, you don't need to pay us, your responsibility is to hand over the funds. That's what JFF is supposed to do. On the matter that the wound is not going to be healed. I said on I Max It, We Max It program, that this thing don't need to take an hour to, to, to start the healing process. But it can also take an entire dispensation. A lifetime. The onus is on the JFF to own up to their wrongdoing and make amends by determining to do better. For you, Pastor. So sorry if I'm cutting you out because we I'm listening to you to my phone. Um, I asked this question earlier, Pastor, and as I said, I want to be fair to I want to question the JFF, I want to question the girls, and I want to question Sidella's organization. And the other organization that contributes to the female program in a monetary way. Pastor, do you, do you know how much money were contributed or donated to the girls through those other organizations and how much were spent? Do you? Because I it seems that everybody always have the number, Pastor, on what the JFF owes and what they should pay out and what they should spend and what has been spent do you know any amount of because in my discussion with an individual in the jff today they said they don't know uh, they haven't seen any receipts or any documents of any other outside donations and how much has been spent by the other organizations that contributes to the to, to the reggae girls Okay, the Minister of Sports publicly stated what is contributed to the Jamaica Football Federation from her department. She goes on to state that she makes rec representation for other persons to give donations. She didn't quote any figures for that second part of it, but she was very clear as to what the 
the monetary input from the government side is i don't remember the exact figure but i so i remember the transparency pastor no, no, with the other no, organizations on. no hold on hold on i'm dealing with her first the 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 i don't remember the exact figure that minister grange stated but i remember her saying that football and track and field gets the lion's share of her budget she did quote the figure i am not remembering it right now a statement of accounts was published by the gofundme person when that argument came up it was made public i think she had put it online somewhere for the gofundme part of it when they were in australia on that tour in australia and that argument came up about who are the the sponsors of the girls and there was this argument when i think it was whether speed or chung that made the statement that they don't they don't know they they, they, are, they don't know about no gofundme and the lady put out a statement of accounts to give you exactly how much money came into the gofundme program and how much money was paid out with time and dates attached and that is what killed that argument as it relates to the marley foundation and their contribution i don't remember the last time when i heard sidella or saw anything that sidella put out but i know that in times past there was normally an updating where she spoke from a statement of accounts as to what was contributed this is this is the flaw in the jff pronouncement as to what they spend there is no time and date attached to the monies that they articulate they verbalize that they spend no time and date attached to it so they will say they spend one dollar on flight for this tour one dollar on flight for which tour did you spend the one dollar they spend on transportation transportation to and from where there is none of, they don't give you those things and they are always tardy in publishing the financial statement of the jff it takes years for you to get it so let's see with this new gensec if he will somehow affect or infect the accounts department to produce that in a timely manner all right let me just take this question here from boss thomas he says jt how long did the jff hold on to the sixty thousand before they disperse it to the girls and do you think the girls have gotten it gotten it immediately after fifa sent it but so obviously nobody is going to believe anything that the jff or the general secretary says but it seems like people do believe the general secretary when they go back to one of his statements to bolster their point he stated that some money was outstanding from fifa the remainder of the money was outstanding that's what i he heard him said on the interviews and fifa will then now just give them the money to pay the girls and then they do the accounting after he spoke about something about the taxes with Australia, I'm not privy to that information. I don't know how it work, works. I'm not an accountant. But we can't choose. Obviously, they have deceived us in the past. So I can see where the mistrust comes from when it comes on to the JFF. But we can then just only look for statements from individuals from the JFF to bolster our argument to say see it see it there and that them did say but we don't believe anything else it comes back down again to balance having a balanced discussion and that's what i'm here to do and as i said this is my last 
I thought I was going to touch back on this again, but I wanted to understand how the JFF, how the JFF is going to go forward. Now that the girls are paid, are they coming back? I was informed that a majority of the girls won't be coming back. A bulk of the girls won't be coming back. And it's also said that some of the girls didn't actually want to not come and play, but they were pressured into not coming. So it seems like there are people in the team who has more power than so over some players to decide who comes and play for Jamaica. So obviously what you're going to have there now is a power struggle where the JFF is going to think, no, we have to jockey back some of that power from the girls. And this is what's happening. And there are other, also other people behind the scenes who are very involved in this. And you never heard their name on YouTube. And I won't be the person to call their names today. But there are things... Don't call my name, please. ...where a lot of fans would be quite... There are things that are taking place that I think a lot of fans would be quite disappointed. But I'll let you continue, Pastor. JT, if you look at the time frame when they said that the money is paid, it would be more, it would be probably about a month after receipt from FIFA that the money was finally paid. Let me, let me get this out of the way before I, before I continue on that. Notice that there was a statement made that the team is suspended because they did not turn up, but there has been no statement made that the suspension has been lifted. So none of those girls it, it, it would be instructive that we do not think that any of them can come back because there is a suspension that would preclude them from doing so. So until the JFF gives us the information that the door is open for all of them to come back, we cannot determine who will or who won't because they publicly stated that the girls are suspended. I read it in a news article with the president picture on top of the article that they are suspended. So until but the JFM... I'm, I'm late, I'm late again. As I'm saying that, I've been told that a lot of the girls won't be coming back from some of the people who are sourcing players for the team. I'm just right. outlining that to you. JT, I'm going to ask you this in a personal way. If I borrow money from you and you lend me and I say I will give you back but I don't and that happens foolishly on your part on more than one occasion and there are evidences to suggest that you are sure I am shortchanging you how many times would you be willing to do that and unless I put forth something that I am making effort to do different, after you reach your breaking point, would you again contemplate or consider lending me more money? Would you? You hear me, JT? No, that's uh, and you, the funny part about that the caller when Issa was on that was an analogy that I kind of used with the whole money thing. And Pastor, yeah. I want to remind you and I want to make it clear. I'm not here to defend the JFF. I think every reggae boy fans or Jamaican fan can say that the JFF has been incompetent over and over and over. That is like preaching to the choir. What I'm saying is though, if in every single situation, we don't dissect the situation, 
and split justice, the JFF will be blamed for every single thing. Then, then we there is no two sides to it. Then it's just let's blame the JFF for every single thing. Then, and I don't, as they said, even a clock when I work right at least one time a day. So if the JFF can two, never twice. be right, that's Oh, two times, yeah, two, two times a day. <laughs> two times, see, you add all one more. So the JF is supposed to write at least two times. So we, so we, so we will speak. So we, so we will speak to the points where the girls blundered, as loud as we speak to the point where the JF gets it right. However, this issue that the girls are having did not begin when Vin Blaine got fired. This issue began with this administration taking power in the JFF because this administration is the administration that has not accepted Sidella as being the focal point of the female program so they have been doing everything that they have been doing in a bid to regain the power and the autonomy that sidella has to the jff they have not to the point where at the world cup 2019 sidella was outside when all of them were inside you, you understand me so they they have not acknowledged her and they have not accepted her wheeling the power that she's wheeling. And rather than, I'll, sh I'll show you how bad it is. The, the, the rework constitution for the JFF was just done a few years ago. But they have not put in a professional position where the ambassador becomes a part of JFF. Because they do not want Sidella nor that position to be a part of the JFF. Sidella doesn't have any voting rights in the election. Yet, Sidella and Sidella alone can lay claim to the resurrecting of the, the, the women's program in Jamaica. Nobody inside JFF cannot do that. Yes, she was permitted so to do by the then administration. So they would get credit for working with her and allowing her to do that. But it was her actions that brought about a program that could run and sustain itself. And here is where the bad blood is. Too many of the present administrators in this, this present JFF organization were present when the program died. And they, had, they were side sitters while Sidella resurrected the program and brought the, 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 the girls to the World Cup on two occasions. So they are fighting. And are really the girls, the, the JFF are fighting. You know? It is Sidella. But the girls know how their bread get butter. Or how they get bread. <laughs> so, so they will always stand in solidarity and in support of Sidella. And which stupid child whose mother takes care of them will allow any man to abuse their mother? So, Pastor, with the whole... I'm going to answer this question here from Tycoon. He says, before I answer that, when Vin Blaine, when the situation came um, up with Vin Blaine, what I said was, and this is how I try to be balanced. I said, it's going to be tough with the relationship to keep Vin Blaine on board going forward. This was what I said clear, I, I made it very clear to everyone. But I also said, it's a, the, the, the program is now at a crossroads. 
because that was also a power move. Because if you have a team that decides that the coach has to go, it's like anybody. You get a little taste of power, you now know that you can even push it a bit further to see how much power you can have or you can get. So I thought it was very dangerous. Um, Vin Blaine did the right thing. The JFF didn't fire him. He stepped aside. But I thought that was a turning point where it was the first time the girls really showed their power that, listen, if we want a coach to go, he has to go. No, what that also does is the JFF was at a point where they're saying, we don't want to disrupt things. We're on the journey to go to a World Cup. Let's give the girls what they want. However, this time around, I think the JFF is willing to sacrifice going to the Gold Cup to put their feet down and say, we are in charge. And I'm being, I, I didn't take any side. I just made a statement based on my observation of the situation. I think the JFF right now, where they are, to regain power over that, over, over, over the women's program, they are willing to sacrifice not going to the Gold Cup. And that entails not calling back a lot of girls from the first team tycoon. I think the JFF is willing to go forward and not call back a lot of those girls to make people. To make people know who is. And in any organization, sometimes. One second, the pastor. In, every, in bosses, sometimes bosses will make an example out of people. And I think the JFF is willing to make an example out of the first team girls who are suspended. That's how I see it. I think they are willing to make that sacrifice. It would be both fair and easy to deduce that from Mr. Speed's interviews and from Chung's interview. Easy and fair to deduce all of that. But this is what the JFF did not factor in. One, we're going to drop 15, 20 places in the ranking. Two, if Jamaica women team does not qualify for the World Cup, they're going to cut their earnings by millions of dollars. Three, it is going to take any team they assemble now three to four years to build back the quality of play that the present core of the first team has. And it don't matter what kind of wizard they carry come as coach. And four, I don't believe Sidela Marley is tired enough to accept any incompetent on experience inadequate coach from the coaching list born in jamaica i don't think she's tired enough to accept that and what a lot of people fail to realize when busby had the legal issue i was one of them that supported that jff needed to do due process and prepare themselves for the possibility of busby coming out on the wrong side of that situation so they needed a coach but the jff went further than just fulfilling that demand they saw it as an opportunity then to reduce the program 
to back Preece de la Marley by putting in Vin Blake. They could have gotten a good coach. They had time. It's the same thing that they plan to do every time, and that is why they keep attaching the Jamaican-born coaches to the to all of the teams here. And they cripple the program by not getting sufficiently qualified coaches for the lower age group teams. All of these coaches that they keep attaching are the only thing consistent or transparent about them is that they are failures. From the technical director to every single other one of them. If you look at the two games and analyze the football that was played, if those girls had a proper coach, he would realize that it's a mistake to wait so long to make your changes. Because in both games, this was true. After 60 minutes of play, the team is flat. Outside of two or three players. They are running below 50% of their energy levels after 60 minutes of the game. And instructively, the good passes of the ball from the back line and the left side of the midfield and the strong right side player, they can only do so much for so long. And commendation must be given to the ladies for those two games and the, what was displayed in those two games. But what happened in those two games showed up the ineptitude of the coach that was in charge of them. Well, I hear you, Pastor, and the, the, the sad thing about this whole situation, the, yeah, the sad thing about this entire situation is, I think even if the JFF put this behind them and say, all right, let's bring all the girls back. How are how is it gonna how is it gonna be going forward? Like when other situations arrive, how, how, what's the what's the mode of apparatus going forward? Um, it's it's some would say it's not the same situation as with the reggae boys. Remember, it was like the gang of what nine, where a lot of fans said we have to get rid of these players. We need these players out of the team. Is it now going to be a situation where the JFF sees this as these players, we are not going to be able to have an amicable relationship with these players going forward? And Here is how it's not the same thing. Have to cut our losses now and move forward. Here is how it's not the same thing. To a large degree, the turmoil was caused by the Gang of Nine because they had issues with their fellow players. It's different with this female team. They are in defense of their mother and the remunerations that they have coming to them. And th th those two things make it different from the male team. But here is where I give the ladies credit. About three of them were not so very happy with how they left previous clubs that they played for. If you understand what I'm saying. But it didn't drop their game. They are professional enough to operate within a professional system. And that is why they are going to fight or not be comfortable when 
JTA, I'm not a qualified coach. But when you give somebody who is not a qualified coach, some top-notch player, whether we up the support, you're damaging the player. You literally damage the player. Because the player, the player's knowledge is way advanced above where the coach can. The coach may never even reach where that player reach in terms of football education. You, I'm going to draw parallels with Coach Hal Grimson. The man is a certified, licensed dentist. But the man is a football coach. You know why? Because he took himself up, invested his money, or got sponsorship to invest in him, sponsors to invest in him. And go get himself qualified as a football coach. So he's at that level. It doesn't matter what you are qualified for. If there's something else that you like to do, go get yourself proficient in that discipline. Other than that, leave it alone. The reason the JFF continues to funnel the unambitious coaches in Jamaica because it is a lack of ambition why they not take up themselves several students and I'm talking some of whom are still teenagers or early adults young adults take up themselves and go to foreign country without having the total school fee or only having the first semester school fee because they want something that is offered over there Those guys coaching in Jamaica sit on their laurels and talk about opportunity. Make your opportunity. All right, Pastor. Um, I'm going to answer this person. And I want everybody in the comment section now. Please provide us with your solution where it can suit, where <laughs> it suits the egos of all the parties involved. I want to hear the solution from the fans. Reefa Morris, um, you saying I'm sounding like the other shows, my brother. Please let me know what have I said wrong and who am I going about this wrong by looking at it from all angles. I'm looking at it from all the sides and I'm questioning everybody. That's what remember I mean. that day and Jackson Miller is a lawyer. You know, be careful how much time you use all angles. Thing came up. I said somebody has to ask questions from another angle. It can't be a sheep mentality where the whole way are run in one direction. So I want all the fans to just give me some solutions where all the parties involved we can basically feed their egos and move forward so Jamaica can end up becoming the winner again. Because at the end of the day, the country loses. The girls have done a great job. Um, the girls have done a great job basically putting Jamaica on the map when it comes on to the women's game. We cannot remove or just push under the rug what they have done. Um, we know the problems that comes with it. We're hoping one day and things change with the JFF. It, um, I think they have improved on some things, but that overall improvement that we want to see where things can run smooth, we haven't seen that. So I want to hear from the fans what is the solution? So let me read a few, Pastor, and then I hear um, your solution, um, Pastor. Marcus Garvey say they do the same things and lose every time, and they want to change. They are all crazy at this point, all right? All parties throw in the white flag and start fresh, says Mr. United. Okay, Rifa, blessings, because I... Um, 
he says both okay both parties will lose if this happen not bringing the girls back says marcus garvey this only solution is for both parties to sit and have an honest conversation keyword being honest and then they can move from here because i don't think they should call back the girls until there is a proper discussion and a meeting and they maybe even restructure the contract maybe restructure the contract and underline certain things because as i said there are statements in the contract based on what mr speed and them said on the internet that sounds very open-ended like there's no time limit on when the monies have to be paid out and i don't know who on the other side sign that contract where there is no time limit as to when monies are paid out I, I i don't um i don't understand that that should be a key um a, a, a key underliner in the contract so i think before they call these girls back there has to be a discussion you cannot call them back and go go back to business as usual that's like seeing a load of crap in your living room and you start you just put a some candle in it and call it a birthday cake at the end of the day it still smells it's still there it's still a load of crap on the floor they have to clean this up so i think before the girls come back there has to be some major discussions and some agreements because we can't have teams boycotting games in major in qualifications for major tournaments that has to happen um jt i supported these girls but no them going too far picking who coaches the team jff do not give in says real baller so there are people here a lot of jamaicans don't understand the fundamentals of football this not friends and company let you achieve in team sports worldwide keep fooling yourself Get out all the corruption in the system. I'll then say, let the new coach pick his best 23 and move forward. I'm sure not everyone from the World Cup will be called by the coach. Um, Rifa Marcy, but control the show in the way you started tonight. Only saying, okay, no problem. Thanks for the feedback. Bala, did the girls request it? I'll take one more and head back over to Pastor. The new coach will be the only one to resolve this by calling all the girls back. Have, have a discussion and agree to take all the upcoming issues with the JFF. And I don't think all the girls merit a call back because I think there are girls in this current team that I see that has potential to go into the main team if we go back to where we were i don't think everybody gets called called back on merit i've seen potential players out there last night that look like they have some quality and if you work with them they can get better go ahead okay let me give my solution first this problem can be fixed in less than one hour because if the jff clearly outlines that they have blundered and they are making amends these are the steps that we will put in place to ensure that we do better next time and any one of those girls from the 23 that went to the world cup fail to turn up i will be the first supporter of the woman football program that says that girl must never see the inside of a stadium of jamaica play again i don't believe that will happen so i know if the jff do their due diligence and accept their responsibility we can move forward the girls are professional enough to get that done jt let me share this with you you see that wicked clause that is in the contract 
that Mr. Speed spoke about has to be there because of the financial inadequacies of this football federation. They cannot say for sure what their cash flow will be. And this is an indictment of all the accountants that work at the JFF. Because no matter how far in the red you take up an organization, if you are a trained economic or a trained accountant at that level, you are able to develop a cash flow and carry yourself because you know what is your fiscal responsibility year by year or year to date you use your year to date to guide you for the future ahead and if you are doing some art budgeting you 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 mark up your budget based on your earn your strongest earners five to ten percent inflation above what your budgeted figure is so all of this is an indictment on all who struck them stuff that they are fellows in accounting and all of this halabaloo and i'm not hitting on anybody's qualification i'm saying if you took the time to go get so qualified you must now do the job to gain the respect that clause is there and they ask people and this is where where i have a problem with how strong speed come out and talk about the, the girl's action because you went to the negotiating table and asked them to adopt a contract on good faith to give you the opportunity to function because you did not structure your budget you don't have a cash flow so you can speak in a with time attached to your payments so who was who, who represented the girls in that signing of the contract it doesn't matter who jt because they love the jamaican program they understand the position the jff is in so the jff had no right to be bro beating anybody because you ask these people to look past the legal ambiguities and deal with you on a good faith basis People are failing to realize how far wrong the JFF has gone, you know. No, JT, I am not an accountant and I am not a lawyer. I would never sign that. And, and so I know that no lawyer signed that except pitting the fact that the girls and their legal representation agreed on a good faith basis. Jamaica don't have it, so we now stress them. They will pay us when they get the money. No, it get to the point where we don't get the money and we still no one give them the money. That is not a straw that break the camel back. That is you picking up one next crane loader thing, drop on the already loaded camel. The girls know all of this. The lawyer must have pointed that out to them and they agreed to play under those conditions. Expecting that the JFF will hold to their side of the good faith bargain. Nobody will can read now sign that JT. We don't have to understand the things in context. Because they know they have a cash flow problem. That's why they put that in there. And then he will come out, come pull that. Mr. Speed, I him here in the interview, I will come out, come pull that. Said there's no time attached to it. I know why there's no time attached to it. Because the JFF don't have a cash flow where they, can, where, they, where they can talk about. And the girls only adopt it because of their interest in Jamaica. So them give one of the other ones to pay them to be fair with them. If, if you take it to a constitution court, you know, and I believe that's why that is why they, they, they put out the statement in the Gleaner that they are extend Alice branch. Somebody upon them legal team advised themselves when we were going at some murky water full of shark and, and crocodile. There is no way the JFF can come out of this and fix this without publicly stating, okay, publicly accepting rather. We blundered here. 
and give publicly the steps that they're going to put in place going forward. And I bet you, I bet you, JT, and anybody in the chat, every single one of those girls, with, in fact, I would recommend that the girls having gotten that from the JFF, then write a letter that all of us are available, barring injuries, which you can substantiate at the, all of them clubs or, or, or college that they play. And the JFF hold the key in resolving the issue going forward because it is their problem that they made. Yeah, man. Good, good point, Pastor. Um, let me answer this question. JT, question. Do you think the new coach is a top coach? Um, she's accepting the job based on quality performance. So I'm going to give you my information, as I said. These are questions I had for the JFF, and I contacted them, and I spoke about this. Who will, will Xavier Gilbert get the job? He, he's not going to get the job. However, he's going to be in charge of the team in November as well. There won't be a new coach in for the next window. There won't be a new coach in for the next window. So that's why I'm also saying in the interim situation that we have going on now, there has to be a meeting. How does Xavier Gilbert handle all those girls coming back and all the girls that he has motivated to play these two games? How are but these girls going to feel? JT. You called us when you really needed us. But no, the other girls are available. You no longer need us. JT. So I think it's a situation that Xavier Gilbert will ha also have to be very cautious in the way he handles this. The JFF needs to have level a level head in the way they go forward with this because you also don't want to just throw these girls aside because I, I strongly believe in loyalty and I believe in people who are there for you when you're at your lowest point. I, I don't believe in just throwing those people aside, but I also don't believe that you should let loyalty makes you suffer. I don't think you should let loyalty make you suffer. So it becomes very tricky. There will also has to be contact with the girls who has just represented Jamaica. If you're going to bring back, let's say a majority, if they were going to bring back a majority of the previous girls, you have to say to some of these girls, hey, thank you for representing Jamaica. Um, keep improving. We'll make sure we keep an eye on you. And when if we think you get to the level that we see fit and you can help the team we will bring you back but we are not throwing you aside because it's like it's it's also it's a use situation i use you when i need you i throw you aside when i don't so that's my take on that toffee rudy i think there won't be a new head coach in november um xavier gilbert will be the coach um, however, the JFF is in the process of sourcing a quality head coach, not saying Xavier Gilbert is not quality, but my problem is with the local coaches, the man them have 900 jobs, them come like Mexicans, I'm not, no disrespect to the Mexicans, we know that Mexicans tend to have more than one job, you know, two, three jobs. Xavier Gilbert, I think he teaches, at, I think he's a PE teacher, they said, at um, Excelsior. And I don't know the other things he got his hands in. So you want somebody who's going to be dedicated to the program 100%. But as far as I know that um, Xavier Gilbert will be there in November, but he won't be the coach going forward. That's, that's, that's my take on that. Go ahead, Pastor. All right. All the girls must be called back if they are going to resolve this issue. However, 
when must they be called back? There's a difference between calling them and engaging them in dialogue to ensure that each of them know as an individual that we expect for you to play a role in the program going forward. Every single one of them must be individually called and engaged that way. Making sure well, that they know that... Pastor, for two seconds, let me cut you past. I, I didn't say there, there won't be any... They said there's a board meeting on Wednesdays. I didn't hear they say anything about announcing a new coach on Wednesday. I, I was told there's a board meeting on Wednesday. So whoever gave you guys that information that there's going to be a new coach, well, somebody else got another information. I'm going off what I was told. There's a board meeting on Wednesday. Xavier Gilbert will be in charge in November. And then a new coach will come in after. But I've heard nothing about a new coach being announced on Wednesday. Sorry about that, Pastor. Continue. Okay. Yeah. So as I was saying, all of the girls must be called back. And each of them must be called individually and engaged as to their, their participation in the program going forward. However, instructively from the team that played, the teams that played the two games, there are about five places that can be improved by the players from the teams that played these two games in the first team. The left back, one of the sisters, and the other sister that plays left side, those two girls are supposed to play over Blackwood and Brown. Especially if Kiki is still injured or still unavailable at college. The Washington retired, I, I believe it, it is Washington at, at, I saw that retired, that opens up another space over on the right side. The, the, the young lady that plays on the right side, the very thick, powerful one that nobody could dispossess of, of the football once she have it. She scored one of the goals too in the, in the last game. She scored the second goal. That young lady would be three. And there is no reason for us to see them progressing the ball and not call them. So at least five players from this, from the two teams that played, whether they came off the bench or they started on the field, at least five players can be called for the games on the November leg, which would significantly increase our chances. I have never seen the defense line of the Jamaica women's team make so many consistent passes to the midfield or forward line. Never seen it before. Our two center backs in the first team, I believe, will start over the center backs that played in this game pretty much all the time but the two young ladies that play center back in these two games in this window should be instructed informed and told how well they did and that they are literally going to be a part of the program going forward any good coach especially for xavier and i don't mean we have little to no ratings for xavier but especially if for him, you handle this team and you know what is on the other team. The time for sentiments is long gone. If we had the kind of fluidity from Blackwood, Carter, and Brown that we got from the young ladies playing in those positions in these two games, Jamaica would have beaten Colombia. Because Bonnie Shaw would not be so always isolated and pinned around. So I believe I, I think every single one of the, the, the first team should be called back. But I don't believe they should be called back for the November window, not all of them. At least the three persons and a replacement for Washington 
should be found from the, 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 the squad that played this window. So that would be a minimum of four. The goalkeeper should be spoken to also, but I don't believe she can break in. I don't think she goes above any of the three goalkeepers that is in the first team, that are in the first team. But she did a, she did a good job. She makes some very crucial saves at some point, at, at several points in the game. One one more thing. Uh, the number three, number fifteen, sixteen, um I'm trying to, I'm not remembering their name. The entire back line. The number three, that would be the other sister. Two sisters of them on the team. That would be five. The number 10. I think number four, number 14 too. And that young lady over the right side. So there, there will be about six, not just five, about six or seven of them that can find place in the first team are, are very close to the first. I, I believe, seriously though, there are replacements for three of the first team players right off the top. And they should carry one of these players for, as replacement for, for the Washington who is retired. Maybe maybe about seven of them in this team, I I I believe should be drawn up. Um and, on, a, on, a, and, on a more positive note, as you say, Pastor, um the I, I didn't expect the girls to perform this well with the short turnover and never played together at all. There were some bright spots there, um, but obviously you can see that the team is missing some quality. But as I was, I was notified today that five players will be coming in the next window. Five new players who hasn't be, um, debuted for Jamaica before will be joining the team. Um, I was also told that these five players are quality players. And also there are some university players who got called, but they weren't able to make the trip the last window, they will be there the next window. So couple everything that I said, I don't see the entire team coming back, the team that went to the World Cup. I, I don't, there's just too many players that's being sourced right now. There's just too many players in the mix right now. So um, it's a wait and see for me. I don't have... Huge expectations. And however these girls do, I think it's a plus for Jamaica because we will also know what we have. Because in a way, when I, sometimes you know you have to grab your opportunity when, when you get one. And a lot of these players know they got an opportunity to be seen by the coach. And they are now a part of the pool. A lot of these players made their debut for Jamaica in this window so now they put their hands up and the next going forward i must say i'm not worried about the female program i think there's a lot of talent available i think there's actually more talent available at the female level than at the male level um at, on the reggae boy side however we have available talent of a higher caliber however in the female program, I think there is a lot of talent to build a formidable team going forward. Pastor, thank you for joining me tonight. Um, I said I'm doing two hours. Just wanted to put this to bed. I uh, will give you the last word after this. I won't do another show on this. Um, it's time to move forward. 
it's two more days and it's two more days and we're in November. We're back to what I love, which is the reggae boys. Um, I think YouTube has been part of my baptism into the female program and supporting them. I, I usually, I never usually do that. Um, the reggae boys is my main team over all club teams, every team, the reggae boys, that's the team I've been supporting since I've, I'm seven, since I was seven years old. So, um, I'm looking forward to that. We're all almost in November and we're going to have a game on the 11th versus Guatemala. Tyreek McGee, I've been watching switchback, hasn't been playing much now since he got injured. Really wanted him to play a lot because I wanted him to get a call up for that Guatemala game just so the coach could take a look at him. However, um, it's not going too well these past few games. So I'll let you say your last piece, Pastor, and we close it <clears throat> out. All right. The only reason I would support five new players for the next window in the female program is if the situation with the first team is not sorted out. Those two games are must-win games for qualification. And it is full. It, I would be stupid to believe that Xavier would, Gilbert would be in a better place working with five pass, new pass. players. I'm going to let you continue. But as I'm saying, the JFF is willing to sacrifice the, this Gold Cup. I heard you and I agreed with you. To I heard you said it and I agreed with you. Put their, their feet down. I'm, 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 I'm telling you. Yeah. That's no, I heard you and I agree with you. They're, they're willing to sacrifice this Gold Cup. And it's the, the situation with the, the girls that are suspended. As of no. They are still suspended. I think. I yes. Like yeah. Yeah. I when when you said it, I heard you and I agreed with you. And if you notice my response when you when you made that statement, you you would realize that I agree with you. But know this: they were sacrificing going to the Gold Cup from when they did not they decide not to renew the coach's contract. They were willing to, they're just not saying it because they want, they want somebody else to be the scapegoat. But from the beginning, they're willing to sacrifice going to the Gold Cup. This is not by chance. This is by design. So the only way I would be in support of five new players for the next window is if the situation is not sorted out and the only way the situation is not sorted out is if the jff failed to sort it out so on that matter other than that i am welcoming of all of the available talents that we have to build the team and make it stronger the same way how we can point to four or five players that can literally stand up in the first team right now with all of the players that went to the world cup i suppose we might find one or more in that five coming in if not all five of them that can stand up because i i, I suppose them bringing those five in is to make the, the the present squad that they have the the first team aside better so if they're not better than what we have there would be no purpose for bringing them so Nothing against the, the, the five young ladies to, to, to join the program. I am for that the continued evolving of the program is for the betterment of Jamaica. I fully support that. But the JFF will show us by their actions clearly what you said, that they, they don't care about going to the Gold Cup as long as they wrestle back control from Sidela Marley. They, they don't care. Anything to get rid of Sidella is what they're doing. So by their actions, because they can resolve this, or they could have resolved it already, you know, JT. They could have resolved it for the girls to be available for the second game, even though they would have Pastor, exhausted. I don't think it's just Sidella, Pastor. I don't think it's just Sidella is not the only mover and shaker. That's what I'm saying. Based on my conversation, I'm not going to call any names. 
No, it, also it is just because Cid I said Cinella because she's the one that pretty much is the is the face of the female program. So I that's why I use Cinella. I know that Cinella didn't operate alone. She got because she did not feel she had all the necessary expertise to, to operate. So there are other players. It's just that she continues to be the, the, the face of the program. So they want to get back the female program under their control. So they are willing to get rid of everybody. So thanks for allowing me to be on the program and do have a good evening. Pastor is still speaking. Go ahead. No, I was saying thanks for the opportunity to be a part of the program and good evening to everybody. Uh, yes, I will leave the was muted. Yeah. Um, so we're gonna put this one to bed, people. Um, if anybody have any more questions, the phone line is open for another like six minutes or so. Um, and we're gonna wrap up. Um, Carl says, I, I haven't made a stance, Mr. United. I hasn't like I haven't made a stance, I've just asked questions from all sides. I have made, but I still believe that something has to be done. And I believe that I'm not blaming just the JFF. I, I blame all parties. I blame all parties involved. I'm not just blaming the JFF. People are not gonna get me to, to sign up to that sheep mentality where I just say the JFF, the JFF does everything wrong. Uh, like I, I'm not gonna sign up for that. I'm sorry. I have to look at, I have to split justice and look at things from all sides. That's how I see it. I believe you have to ask all the tough questions. I'm not just going to get answered. The JFF, the JFF, everything without asking any questions. Carl says, I think he's talking about the constitution um, and the election and stuff. The election, Wednesday, the board meeting on Wednesday, all that will be sorted out. I asked the question on the election. What's holding back the the, the, the date on the election it's the i was told that fifa is aware of the situation and um they will have a meeting on wednesday and we will know when the election is i don't know if they're gonna call the election on wednesday but that's what i was told that's what i say to you people when i'm have when, when i'm giving you my opinion i say opinion when I'm telling you what I've, the questions I've, I've, I've asked and the answers that I've gotten, then I will tell you exactly how it is. A lot of times I make predictions or I state my opinion or what I observe. Um, but this whole reggae, um, this, this whole situation with the female program, it has led me to contacting individuals from the JFF and get answers myself. And that's why I'm not going down one side, because my questions are being answered. And the way I ask my questions, I know when people are lying to me. I'm not saying I know when people are lying to me all the time, but you can ask questions a certain way. And based on the answer, you know if the person even has need to lie to you. So that's where I'm coming from. And that's why I, I, I wasn't jumping to conclusion. I said, I had I've never seen the JFF books. Um, JT, what type of agent are you, sir? We want to know, just like how you ask, my name is man. Um, you can say 007. You can say, I'm an agent of change. I'm an agent of Jamaican football. Whatever agent you want to call me, bro. Um, it's, see, that's what it is. If I'm not a sheep, I'm an agent. 
And I ask Manning's man the tough questions. And if Manning's, and Manning's man also asks me some tough questions, and I'm able to answer them. Anybody asks me any tough questions, I'm, I'm here, bro. I'm, I'm, I'm a fan. I always say that I'm a reggae boys fan first. I'm a fan of Jamaica first. <laughs> it's a mess. So I'm not I'm not afraid of those titles being called an agent and all them things because I won't be restricted. Um, I won't restrict my opinions based on the the fear of being called an agent. I'm gonna limit, I'm not gonna limit myself because I'm afraid that people are gonna call me agent. Then I'm just gonna be, then I'm gonna actually be an agent who's being controlled by the people. I'm not controlled by anyone. This is what YouTube is all about. Every single comment in that comment section is different because everyone in there has their fundamental human right. They have a right to state their opinion in however way they want. We all see the world through different lens. Everybody see the world through a different lens. So I can't I can't tell a man how to think. What we can do is we can have some intellectual sparring. It's not a fight. And we can go forward and forward on different opinions. But people has to know opinion. You can't win a match with opinion. Because everybody is right in their own right. Is it what I say? Everybody is right. I'm nobody to tell somebody, they're, tell anyone that they're wrong. So, but I've went out to get answers for myself. And what I was saying is people cannot use Dennis Chong or Mr. Speed statements to bolster their point when they want to say the JFF is wrong, but they don't believe nothing else that the JFF says. To me, that is clear bias. I think that's bias. We're going to say, but but I hear Mr. Speed say that on the show where there. Oh, but uh, cho, Mr. Speed, I talk again. Me not believe him. I hear Dennis Chung say that on the, sh the, sh the show there. But you use that to bolster your point. But you believe nothing else. But why do you believe the thing that you're using to bolster your point? We, we have to be fear, guys. We have to be brutal. We have to be brutally honest with ourselves. We have to be fear. Marcus Garvey said, it's okay to have different opinions. Everyone won't think the same. Just be fair. That's not saying anyone, yeah, that's, I'm, I'm just trying to be fair. And I've asked questions of the JFF. I asked questions of the reggae girls. And I asked questions of um, Sidella, their role in this. And that, that's it. You see what I'm saying? Bro, I'm not, I'm not drinking too much, bro. What are you talking about? For, it's, it's a glass of white wine. And I'm only on stream maybe two times for the week. I'm up here. And that's what people in Europe do. After a long day of work, you maybe have a glass of white wine or a glass of red wine. Not every day. Maybe two or three times a week. There's no problem with that. I'm not out. I don't go out, bro. I don't have a life where I go out part. Taking shots and drinking white rum and them thing there. I'm. I'm a father. I'm taking care of my daughter. So this is my party. So I don't, I'm not out like that anymore. Like I'm was just like in my 20, early 20s, just running around partying, bro. So if you call drinking too much a glass of white wine, bro, god damn, what do you call people who drink six, seven beers um at work? I'm not a I'm not a um I'm not a a, a European um pagan. It's just I think a glass of white wine or a glass of red wine is more healthier than drinking beers. I, I don't drink beers, bro. Beers is just, beers, is, it, it looks a bit, you know. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> just a quick story. I remember I went to, <laughs> I remember this youth, um, this Jamaican youth, him did a pass through with some artists and I think him did there with Teflon. And after the after the show, we go to one bar, and the man order, uh, man order Heineken, and the man a beat him Heineken, you know. And we meet some Scandinavian girls, and we had talk to the talk to the girls, um, and the girls say, "Why is your friend drinking beers? Ew!" 
<laughs> she said, you, no, but you know what I mean? Like, she, she make it look like the man is a, like a, like a crow, like him and I drink beer. Like, I so people don't like, you don't like here, bro, you know, walk around with a can of beer. People, if people see you with a can of beer, yeah, so you're considered an alcoholic. Remember that. Can, anybody you see with can beers. You, you have to take those people very serious when it comes on to drinking. Anybody you see, want to hold a can there, them yard, a can beer. Them people, they drink a lot. You, see me? I say, you can't drink wine too much, bro. And I have work tomorrow as well. Wine gets you druggy, um, drudgy or whatever them call a word in the morning. With all due respect, JT, I think you're being politically correct. You're telling us not in as many words that you're not speaking up no no mr united i can only speak on the information i have or state an opinion or and my opinion derives from my observation that's it i or i just make predictions on games and use probability that's that's just it bro there's there's no other way to go about it there's no other way. I just cover all the <laughs> I just cover all the bases there. So there's no other way to go about it. So that's why I've called and I've got some answers. And I came and I said it to you guys. I, I didn't even plan to do a show today. Is it after I made a phone call and I said, where do we go from here? No, now that the girls are paid, what do we do now? How do we fix this? What's and everything that I told you guys, I, I was told there are five new girls coming in who are quality to, to, to play. And, and there are some college girls who didn't get to come the last window. They're coming back. I asked about the coach. Xavier Gilbert will be the coach in November, but they're still looking to get a proper head coach. I also asked about why, what's the holdup on the elections. There is a board meeting on Wednesday and we will know more like, that's that's all I can say, bro. It's not, there's nothing I'm holding back, Mr. United. You know me, brother. When me come out here, so one thing matters, I'm only loyal to Jamaica and Jamaican football, especially the male side of the football. So me not aft, me not aft, me not aft. Like, bro, why would I get some information? I'm on YouTube doing a show that's based on me giving you information. And I'm like, yo, people, when you watch and see, I'm going to tell you this. I'm not telling you. Like, why would I even turn on my YouTube? It makes no sense, bro. When I'm here, I just tell you what I've asked about. And that's exactly what it is, bro. Um, Mr. United says, sometimes JFF don't do anything to give anyone anything <laughs> good to talk. Um. They seem to always be in the wrong. So anything with the JFF, no one give them a chance. They always, yeah, man. That's what I'm gonna say. The JFF, um, the JFF, the JFF has their track record is what's really affecting them going forward. I think their track record doesn't give them a fear, a fear shake, basically. Even when, but I, I think that's also. On us fans, um, Ian Campbell, they didn't tell me who the five players are. Um, because I said, I don't, it's, it's not like the reggae boys where I can say, okay, those guys are those guys, the, the, the typical names. I don't know the girls in the reggae boy, reggae um, girls space who are potential Jamaicans. I just don't keep up with, 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 with women's football like that. It's not something that I spend a lot of time on. I'm going to be brutally honest. Because in this case, we're not even talking about the football. We're talking about this relationship with the JFF and the fact that we almost don't have a team. So I don't know the players, Ian. I'll have to be brutally honest with you. Um, but as you say, Marcus Garvey, that's what's affecting the JFF here. The, 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 um, their previous blunders has caused a lot of mistrust and it's, it's affecting them. But I, I still think us as fans has and people who are critical thinkers we have a responsibility to basically sieve through the noise and basically know when the jff is doing something right and give them credit you can't want somebody to change 
and do better and you never give them any credit or motivate them. But a lot of people would say, the JFF don't need no motivation. They're supposed to do the right thing. They, it, Guys, an organization, if you look at it in context of it just being a word, it's a word. Within an, that organization, it's actual people who has different personalities, different goals, approach. So you, you have to look at it from a human level as well. There are people inside of the JFF. And if they're doing something right, I'm not talking about right now. At any point, if they do something right that looks good for the football and we just glass over that and try to go look for the next thing that they're doing wrong, it's we're not changing either. We're not evolving as a people then. We don't evolve. That means we are also stuck on their past as well. And as you know, the past is a the past is very jealous. The past doesn't want you to move on. You see what I say? The past doesn't want you. Tuffy Rudy says, JT, they didn't tell you the five because there's no five. Bro, there, there is, man. There is Tuffy Rudy. We had an extensive conversation. Um, but you see, Tuffy Rudy, let me say this, bro. You know what's affecting a lot of people in life is the story that they tell themselves. You see, if you convince yourself some, like convince yourself about anything, it's very hard for you to evolve and see anything else beyond that because you have convinced yourself that this is it. It can't get better. It, it, it's only going to get worse. So you don't leave yourself open for dialogue or open for growth. And that's where I see myself being different because I have done the work on myself to realize like, brother, you can't just keep that same mindset there where you did of, where you just think, say, because you see it so, I saw it go. No, in Scandinavia, bro, they tell you like, you have to just put everything on the table and just ask question, question. Question if they tell you here to question even the obvious. That's where you come up with answers. That's how you come up with answers you would have normally missed. I'm questioning everything. I, I question all parties. I question all parties involved in the situation today. All parties involved. And then I came to a point in the show where I ask everybody in the chat, provide your solution. What is the solution? The solutions were very generic. It was like everybody sit down at the table and come on, that's the obvious. Let me hear a solution outside the box. The solutions were quite generic. And I think most people would agree that's what they're going to have to do. Sit at the table and discuss how they go forward. I also said, I don't think you bring back those girls for the next window. I think that if these girls that are playing now doesn't qualify, we will have to live with that. Because the problem is not solved if you bring those girls back and get business as usual. How, um, how does that... Um, how does let me hear this comment from Kevin Reed. JT, you're talking nonsense, bro. With respect, if you have critical thinking, you wouldn't be talking like this, JT. JFF promise you first news and you buy into... I, I don't know what else to say, Kevin. Kevin, I don't know what else to say, my brother. All respect. I, I'm, I, I can only go off what I'm telling you. You see what I mean? JT, do you think the JFF is doing a good job? Not in all areas. I think they have improved in certain things. I think the logistics has gotten better. I think the logistics has gotten better. Especially around the mail program. The mails haven't got paid yet. Obviously, that's an area that they they are not doing so well in. I think 
they're not doing very well in the way disperse information and the coordination in way in the way information is being delivered. I I I, I think you had Dennis Chong saying one thing on one program, Mr. Speed saying one thing on one program, the president saying one thing on one program, Raymond Andes is saying something here, and next man I say something, they must suspend him. I don't think there was any cohesion in the delivery of information, and that's something they have to tighten up on, as well as the accounting. The accounting has been treacherous. It has been their Achilles heel. It has been that thing that has been really demonizing the JFF. And they need to see that. I just stated, I think they have improved in the logistics when it comes on to the male team. And that's why I also asked Manning's man, what role does he play? Um, because ever since Manning's man has gotten got there, or, or he, he took up the job, I've seen improvements. I haven't heard a lot of noise around the male team when he came on to logistics. And that was a major thing where players were getting left in the airport and room. And the media space, I think Simon Preston is doing a great job as well. I'm in the media group and Simon is dispersing information in a timely manner. I think he's more coordinated with the Instagram page. The YouTube still needs to get up to scratch as far as quality is concerned. But I think in the media space, there has been improvement. In the logistics, there has been improvement. That's my opinion. So if you can't see anything that they improve, as I said, I can explain something to you but I can't understand it for you. That's the best I can do. You see what I say? So that's what I say. A thing that a lot of people run into. That thing that a lot of people run into in life, as I said, is, is that story that you tell yourself. If you tell yourself a story that never evolves, you are going to be a slave to your own ideas you have to leave some room to evolve that's why some people say jt you come on the show and you change your mouth because the world continues to evolve and i have to change if something change a morning it change bro i have to come and say change me can't just say because everybody on youtube is saying the same thing i have to stick to it i cannot i'm con i'm I'm a curious individual. I'm constantly seeking ways to grow. Here goes Ian Campbell. Um, Paul Edwards said they should stick with this squad for those two games. I agree. I agree. I think the situation with the other girls, that needs more time to come to an amicable agreement. We do, it's already a batch job. We don't want it to get more. I think, I think the wounds are too fresh. The monies have been paid, but they have been paid in a very sporadic way. Sporadic way. It, it, it wasn't in a timely manner. So there has to be a discussion that's, that, 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 that reorganize things or reset the, the, the relationship. It cannot just hop back on the train and start driving and the wheel them did just the, the truck the wheel them did just run off of the truck. It doesn't work like that. Ian Campbell says the scouting is also improving. I agree. I agree. People, we have to. At the end of the day, we can't be so biased, man. We cannot be so biased and said everything has gotten worse. That's a lie. I would be lying if I sit. If I sat up here and said everything is getting worse, I I, I I don't see that. This this blunder with the reggae girls, it's the it's been a while since one of these big major blunders. The last big blunder, the massive blunder was with Dalton Wint. Though some would say the trip 
to Sheffield, based on what I'm hearing, the trip to Sheffield in England for the reggae girls, that wasn't organized by the, the JFF. The JFF was on board with it. That's what I'm trying to say. People find out for you have to find out. That trip wasn't fully organized by the JFF. So at the end of the day, the JFF is also getting blamed for things that they're not even in charge of. Um, the JFF keeps distracting us from the business of football. Yeah, we, we can agree. And I said that on the call today, Pagan. I said to the individual from the JFF, I said, when we're not hearing about the JFF on YouTube, that's a good thing. This is one of the, this is a case where, okay, I take this call from Marcus. Go ahead, Marcus. Okay, I think he's logging on. Can you hear me? Carla, can you hear me? I think Marcus, his internet. I think his internet, he has some internet issues here. Let, let me hang up and see if I could call him back. Um, yeah, we want to get back to football, man. We, we need to get back to football. It's been just a lot of unnecessary noise. Let me see if we get the caller back on. Maybe he has internet. Yo, oh, oh, oh. When I New York, on the phone now work, man. I don't have internet problem and them thing there. Uh, let me see what Mr. United is saying now. Okay, Mr. United, you can call in, you know, bro. You don't have to type so many times. I never heard your voice, Mr. United. May I have your message on, on Instagram? You just send some message and you disappear. Say your piece, man. Let, let's hear what you got to say. Like, because you do have a lot to type. Yes, can you hear me, Carla? Yeah, man. I can hear you, man. I can hear me, General. Yes. Good evening. Yes, can hear you. Yeah, man. What may I say, you know? Seeing oh, JFF can make so much mistakes, seeing and one really much thing. And then still world and job and thing. And the one time, if the girl them supposedly do something bad, mm -hmm. just the one time the girl them supposedly go wrong, then want to reshuffle the team and now bring back girl, bro. Look how much thing then do. Your boss at work can show up late, can go up, go out and drink all night and still show up and he's your boss. That's the tough reality. But you do that two days in a row. You're out of a job. Bro, <laughs> I really run Jamaica football, you know? Yeah? So, I don't want, want professionalism to come, 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 push up your head when it's convenient to some people, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you go professional, make it professional right around, brother. Now, come run party shop the whole time, and when time it's convenient for you, you are count a boy, you are boss. And all the other time when you were supposed to push up your head as a boss and make sure things in place. Where where were you? Mm, mm. So what's your solution? Um right I know everybody needs to drop them ego. Start from scratch. Get some jelly coconut and drink, wash off the air. And, and try to build back the thing, bro. That's that's the most realistic thing we can come to where everybody drop them ego, bro. Mm -hmm. At Jamaica, everybody I do it for. Everybody I, I, I do it for Jamaica, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. At, at Jamaica, I the, the, the thing, you know, and a just and the world and personality you know, at Jamaica, isn't it? Yeah. Because right now, if a girl don't play for Jamaica, we don't talk about you know? At the team we are talking about, you know, so it's not an individual thing, you know. You see me? And at the same time, JFF, if we make, we can't talk about football, we are talking about them too much, brother, and they not playing on ball. And they come like, them want the spotlight more than the ball of them, brother. I don't so think me? the JFF want, want the spotlight. The 
I don't think the JFF want the spotlight. So why not do the writing, no, that, that's what I was gonna agree with you, Marcus. I think it's people who are not doing their jobs cause the JFF to have the spotlight. Can I guess on brother? We want we want jump on JFF side sometime and when I time in a book, brother, when time I really check on it, brother. Where you go defend, you go different different slackness, bro. Yeah. You go the diff slackness, brother. Cause sometimes the ball of them themselves now perform, you know, have nothing to do with JFF. But when you when 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 time you 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 you, you listen to someone and say, yo, the preparation in this and this and that, bro, you have to slow them and make them talk. Cause more while certain things have nothing to do with JFF bearing. Are you you out there as a baller? JFF can't make you can't control or make a good pass. So JFF now nothing to do with them thing there, but JFF need to give you something fit. Can't talk good about them two, brother. <laughs> I agree. I agree. I agree. Nobody can disagree with that. Listen, most things where the JFF go wrong with Marcus, we can't disagree on it. It's it's a fact. It's obvious. Is there a message? But I'm just saying, with all our criticism, let's not fail to, if we see something improving, to say that has improved. That's yeah, a, we see uh, it, it, yeah. It, it, the, the, the platform them on the social media, them vastly improve. We are get um all these interviews before games and after games and them thing there. In terms of that, there's a lot of improvement, as not it? And mm. more I'm pointing towards, one thing when we see, you know, you see the big effort where JFF push out for you get them crap a girl, yeah. Me hope same time, the regular boys, them forget some players, them push out the same energy, you know, brother. Yeah, for some reason, it seems like the passport issue with the girls tends to happen you know, much quicker. Okay. More the JFF, them put out the same energy, brother, because... He go, they go have more money for team photo when time the team do good. But you also have to understand that a lot of these girls as well, they're not really playing at the highest level. And a lot of the male players that we're trying to get are playing at a higher level as well. Bro, if the thing coordinate the right way, brother, we can have a decent squad of both male and female, brother. Everybody just needs to get on board fans and JFF and the player them brother because at the, at the, at the ultimate that in a brother we can't have we 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 we, we great blue mountain peak you know and make England come jelly down you know we can't have we play we play them down at Jamaica and one great error pass and we just sit on a back and forth and we are say we intelligent oh intelligent we are can resolve with liquor issues true what kind true. of ed education and another good thing in a brother education for where we need to have Knowledge and overstanding, bro. Is it because we're educated and we have some differences and we claim all that we want the same outcome of things, bro? Mm -hmm. And we, we can't seem to find a common ground to find a resolution to say, all right, we're going to disagree if we agree for the bigger picture and the benefit of Jamaica. Is it me? Yeah. It's all about personal egos and I'm the boss, and brother, the boss not always right you now. That's why I have people in place to kind of guide the thing to you, know, bro. You see me? Sometimes the boss just have the money to finance the idea. So you're not mm. too big for listen to some time to bro. So we, we all got to work together, brother. We, we have to come together, brother. And on our one side, I know, see the lad lay the foundation when JFF give up on the girl them. That's a fact that's in history stone written and you can't rub out. You see me? Mm -hmm. See the lad alone by herself accomplish more than JFF admin that's been there all these donkey years and that's a fact now then could have bought the bite iron that's what the reality is bro you see me so we need to just drop everything brother and just try to do the thing the right way my lord and come together and work together because we go lose we the girl them go lose and jf go lose if the thing now work together brother i agree i agree i agree um, I, I can't, there's nothing to disagree with there. There's nothing to disagree with there. And as I said, this is the last show I'm doing on this and I'm glad it's not over because they need to reset, but let's 
turn a page. Let's turn a page on this. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I'm glad that um, the reggae boys will be playing soon. At least there's less noise around that. The only thing we're discussing now with reggae boys is if the coach is making substitution or which player is bringing me bringing in, which is is not a bad discussion to have. I can live with that. But I don't want yeah, to be discussing. Light, yeah, money. Light, know, you know? Yeah, yeah we, man, that's a good. Yeah, that's a good problem to have, right? We have a good amount of players where I say, why the coach are bringing them? I don't want to be on YouTube talking about who didn't get their money. You know, no. you know what I mean? Like, I don't want to be pocket watching. That's why I always, you remember, I'm always saying, I'm sure they mark us that I never see the JFF books and I want to stay away from it. And it this, but this one just blew up. And I saw the discussion just being one sided. And I said, okay, uh, it's not like I'm playing devil's advocate. I just. No, man, the thing of a balance, bro, like. Yeah, nothing is wrong with what you're doing, bro. You, you have, everybody can just they say reggae girls, reggae girls. Even though we know say JFF have them ways, you have to have somebody to oppose and ask questions. See me, is me? That's how yeah. the thing will get better, you know. Cause no one is perfect, you know, bro. Cause reggae girls have them 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 thing to you know, bro. So nothing mm-hmm. is wrong, bro. Yeah, and, part of, and, and I said, and, Marcus, and I said, looking at the reggae girls team, I. I don't, that, that, that team needed a lot of players anyways, because... I, I, exactly, yeah, I agree, they, 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 I agree they, because they, personally, to me, personally to me, bro, the two wing backs for Jamaica that was in the World Cup, brother, to me, they are not consistent not enough, the brother. Answer. They, 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 you see me? Like, they have half game, one good game here, and then they have a regular game. And then they have a bad game, and then they have a regular game. You understand me? Like they don't keep up consistency. You see me? The two wing back them brother, like them two wing back them brother, Blackwood and Wilshire. They have to get better. or have to change them brother. They have to. I and I said that 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 the, the reggae girls needed players anyway. Um, you just left a World Cup and you can't beat Canada. We we still couldn't beat Canada. You see me say we can't beat Canada. We just left the World Cup. Like we can't win. And 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 us and also right across the midfield, <laughs> Shudi or 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 Jody or Primus. We not get nothing. It's the same old same. It's the same thing. It's the same thing. Um, we're not and getting I, anything from them. You see me? And you know what I saw, Marcus? In this, the two centre backs that played in this game, they weren't good. They made a lot of mistakes, but they were better passing the ball out on the ground than our better centre-backs. Because our other centre-backs, go, they, they go long every chance they get. It's like, the, 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 on the A team, the two centre-backs is like mm. a, a two Damien low in a one. It's just long, 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 long. Um, so it's, it's we, we needed to... Imp- so they say... You know the saying, them say, uh, uh, what them say, uh, a, a, a fool, them say, a fool see a, a problem in a every situation. situation. But yeah, but a, a, a wise man see a, a, a opportunity in a every problem or something like that. Yeah, man, them say a fool see a problem yeah, in man, a, 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 yeah, a, something yeah, like man, that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so there's an opportunity here for us to find some players, to find some players but, and, uh, and create a good happy, team. Me, me, me kind of happy. Me kind of happy say we get to see this team, man, brother. Cause this team is not a bad team, brother. It's a great set of girls to have and integrate them one by one or two by two, three by three, isn't it? In in a, in a, the in a, the first team <laughs> when they see say yeah they're ready at the place, isn't it? Cause for me the number four walker she can walk in at the starting eleven for me right now in the Jamaica team. With everybody and the, the number nine, the, the number nine last night, she looks like a very good ball handler to me. She, yeah, she, man, a great ball handler. She, she's she's composed, bro. Like if I'm building a team, the number nine that played last night, she has to be out there. For real, man. For real, is a is a is a very good ball angler, man. Me love how she deal with the thing. And yeah. We need we need we need to see more of these girls. Uh, if you see how oh, them when them get comfortable because they're not comfortable with the thing, you know, you have to just remember say 
is a rush thing, you know, really, you know. Yeah, it's, you know a, it's a rush they, job. They, 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 still, they still give a good account of themselves, you know. Yeah. And yeah. they still give a good account of themselves. So, I'm excited to see girl them again. But we just want back the original girl them car. We have a couple of them where folks are the, the starting the level like Drew Spence. Mm, mm. Is it me? Vian Samson. Is it me? And 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 bunny up top, bunny clinical up top and bully them and certain things, is it me? Yeah, but yeah. the attitude. Yeah, that's true. And I, but, I, I, let me drop the people. This is the link for the for the for the late night YouTube channel where we talk all things diaspora. Um you, this is the show for all the people who missed the show. We had a great show. Marcus was over there. We had different callers. We had Black Gold on. Um, that show is gonna be that show is gonna be massive, people. And we're gonna be back live this week. I think we'll be live tomorrow night on that channel talking all things Jamaican, all things diaspora. I think we want to tackle the whole Chinese issue in Jamaica. Um, some people are saying that the Chinese are taking over Jamaica, Marcus, but the Prime Minister is saying if you look at the budget and the spending, China is like, they, 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 it's, it's not even that much as we think it is. So I've, I've been doing a little research on it. And tomorrow night, we're going to be on that channel. I just dropped the link for that channel, people. So subscribe. That's the, the last episode. If you missed the last episode, you can watch that episode on that channel talk your talk that's a that's a good channel marcus and those guys were over there the other night and we'll be live on that channel tomorrow night so i have to split it up because there's not a lot i think um wednesday after the meeting then we probably have something else on the reggae girls um on the information with the 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 the, the, the election and probably decisions on the reggae girls and suspension and everything um going forward so subscribe to that channel people and you can watch that episode that was a funny episode we had a brother on him black gold and <laughs> <laughs> black gold are the boss <laughs> Big up black gold. yo people are contact me and say jt you have you had a brother they on for your channel at night time the man go yeah, off black gold, man. Black gold are the boss. even when the show end and with the on the phone, Marcus, he thought he, we were still live. <laughs> yeah, man, he have the, he have the thing. He love the thing, man. We, we, we enjoy it, man. We pull it, man. It's a great energy, you know? Yeah, man, yeah, man. That channel, it's because that energy. channel, we're going to be able to discuss everything. Because here we are restricted to football. And sometimes it's just, there's so much happening in Jamaica. Development and progress and crime and everything. So, people, sure, subscribe to that channel. Um, let me see if anybody has subscribed yet. All right, we, we got one new subscriber on the channel. But check out the, the new episode that I just dropped in the comment section there. And Marcus, you know, so we link off, off here. So, Ian Campbell, Pagan180, Colin Quest is a member. Big up yourself, Colin Quest. Um, J, uh, J. Shy. 876, he came in a bit late. Bless up yourself. Siobhan Brown says, Jay Taylor, who are the players you are talking about? Um, could make the squad. We went over that, bro. I did a show for three hours that I was only here to do two hours. Um, Sky Boss, Curtain Boss came in late. Tycoon, big up yourself. See him here. I try to beat me, but the whole show. Kevin Reed, bless up yourself. Mr. United, Dusrel, CMF. And who else we got in here? Um, Tuffy Rudy passed through as well. Um, El Genera passed through. Fia Beach. Jeremiah passed through. Yeah, man. Big up everybody who passed through. Kyle Wallace. And yeah. Um, baller Kick, Real Baller, Brain Drain. All of them you them. Consistent Reggae Boys fans. Steel Dragon. Big up yourself, my boss. Wayne Harris as well. Um, just going through to see who we're missing here. Hala Madrid, um, S Technic was here early on as well. Jay Saguna passed through. Irie from Maris passed through. 
Big up everybody, bro. If me miss your name, big up yourself. You're large. My boss, Marcus. Until next time. Yeah. People, remember, remember, subscribe, 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 subscribe to the channel. I just dropped the link in the comment section. Subscribe to the YouTube channel and check out that last episode. Bless up yourself, um, everyone. All right. Manas, bless up. All right.